Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Yes, indeed. Okay. Uh, so I th did a little bit of stuff on our new planet, Lothar. Um, I think we've found all the biters, probably. There weren't a lot of them, but we had a whole decent sized planet to chip up. Speaking of which, uh, I think I'll have to fly over there to deal with them. Same for this one. Uh, but yeah, we've got a basic, well, as basic as it gets anyway. We've got a, about 2.2 million uranium here that's going to supply us with uh, the uranium that we need for... Uh, our nuclear fuel. I think we've got about a thousand nuclear fuel that we had delivered from uh, from Nalvis to get things started. We're supporting nine core mining drills with this, um, and that looks to be more than enough power. Uh, I haven't set up supplying the uranium via delivery cannon just yet. Um, I definitely want to redesign... Oops, not that one. Uh, redesign this blueprint a bit. Ideally, so that we can uh, fit more different resources coming in from the trains here. Um... Maybe we could get small trains to bring these things. Maybe we could use bots. Uh, there's definitely, theoretically, room for more cannons. Um, but preferably either this or I should set up a, another system for supplying different resources via cannon. Although I would prefer not to have to use extra signal receivers. Um, but yeah, the standard kit here is for um, basically a system that runs on solar. Since the sulfuric acid and such is... Uh, this stuff right here is so that we can make ammo for the global... Media defense cannons. And I have a different set of requirements for. Where is it? Uh, for a planet that's being supplied. Uh, that's running off of nuclear power and has uh, just point defenses against the cannons. I think I would prefer just to use the global. Uh, media defenses every time as standard. It's a little bit more expensive, but having these different requirements is just a bit of a logistical hassle. Or we could just have a different block to supply the uranium. Um, two megawatts isn't too bad for the dish. I think it's 10 megawatts for the transmitters. It's still pretty wasteful to have extra transmitters, uh, receivers that we don't um, necessarily need. Um, but yeah, obviously had to refactor the usual design a bit so that we've got room for uh, to support more of these delivery cunning capsules. Um, also squeezed this out a bit so that we could get sulfuric acid over here to mine our uranium. Oh, and that's something I almost forgot. We need to set up something to deal with the um, uh, the spent fuel cells as well. Can we put this? Yes. So 
let's just drop some chests in there. Actually, now that I think of it, uh, we don't really have... I think I would prefer to put this where we can just chuck the output straight on a belt. So, right about here. One less thing for the logistic bots to have to do. One less inserter. Uh, that would mean one more robopod, though. I guess that's fine. It's also going to make it easier if we have to refactor this a bit later. Cool. Um... Definitely brought a lot more solar panels than we need here. Uh, since it's still a little bit slow to manufacture them and we're running off of nuclear here. Actually, come to think of it. Okay, we do have the system in place to save fuel. It's just the initial uh, fuel cells that are going a bit overboard, it seems like. But if the heat isn't reaching all the way, if nine, uh, 999 degrees isn't reaching all the way to the end of this heat pipe, then we're not wasting any fuel yet. Once all of these steam tanks are completely full, and the furthest bit of heat pipe is at 999 degrees, um, that's when we're actually wasting uh, some uranium fuel cells. So, no need to worry about that. Um, and in the meantime, I think we're just about ready to head back to Narvus. Not before I get rid of those biters that the spiders can't reach, though. A little bit further north. And I wanted to run a little experiment as well. Um, I think I remember a suggestion that having all of these chunks loaded is less good for the UPS. Once we've cleared this planet out uh, of biters, and hopefully we haven't missed any. Um, I want to try trimming the surface of all the planets that we've got like this, where we've just got a little build in the middle somewhere. And we don't need the rest of the planet to be exposed. See if trimming all of those uh, sectors is going to bump our UPS up a little bit. I doubt that trimming the sectors that have biters in them will keep them from expanding. I don't know. That's the next one. And I think there was one little tiny base somewhere as well, wasn't there? There it is. Um... Definitely regret the fact that we can't put jetpacks on the Spidertrons, but I guess it's reasonable. Those are just worms. Wait, that means the other little base. I don't know where it is. There was one with just one spawner somewhere. Um, we should definitely hit the bigger base that I was just looking at a moment ago, though. Oh, here we go. 
I mean, I know they're on islands and they're not going to be a threat to our base, but I just don't want them expanding indefinitely and more or less filling the continent and costing UPS, which is gradually becoming a precious, uh, precious thing. I suppose there's nothing else living on this planet except the biters. Um, there it is. And that is not a biter base, that is Vulcanite. That is a biter base. Actually, it's just worms. Alright, let's head in this direction. And once we clear that up, uh, I think then it'll be time for a little trim. Oh yeah, I can get a few more UPS if I do this. There we go, back into the 50s. Fantastic. Um... Where are we going? Down here. I do hope there's going to be something I can fly around that I can click and forget, kind of like with we do with the Spider-Trons. So instead of babysitting my flight path, I could be arranging things on Nalvis or something. Almost there. All right, one last double check. And I'm kind of seeing false positives for beta bases now. That's not a false positive. In fact, that one's grown. Hey, Noxyway Gaming. Good to see you again. A welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What we're we doing? Um, just cleaning out the last few biters on this planet. Hopefully not missing any so they grow back. And once that's done, I'm going to do a trim of the surface. Which is to say, uh, something that you can do in uh, space exploration, which will just remove all of the chunks that we've explored that we don't still have entities like buildings or player characters or spiders close to. Um, and I'm going to do that for all of the planets where we've com where we don't have any biter threats or anything. Uh, and I'm hoping that's going to reclaim a few UPS. Even though there's not a whole... Yeah, I didn't see these guys. Even though there's not a whole lot going on, um, in these chunks that we're not looking at all the time, uh... It still adds up. I don't know how severe it is, though. I would imagine if there's no activity in them, they kind of drop out of having any calculation applied to them for a while, right? But how you know they are not expanding in the dark? I don't. 
Um, we will be safe, though, because our infrastructure on this planet is all on a little island in the middle. Um, so, worst case scenario, uh, some of these islands or continents still have biters on them. And they will expand. But... They're not going to destroy our base or anything. Speaking of which, let's bring you guys back to the main base. I'm going to have the military spiders come back with me to Narvis, I think. Scorched earth so they're all gone when trim. Oh, you mean the missile? Yeah, I don't have the technology... Um, there's like a bioweapon or something that can literally kill all life on a planet. Um, not that I would generally want to do something like that, but in any case, I don't have that option just yet. Um, but yeah, I th think that might be it. This planet turned out to be bigger than I realized it would. Well, I knew it was a decent size, but because the biter threat was listed as 3%, I just... I guess I thought it would be even easier to clear them out, but there's a lot of ground to cover. The all red makes it tough spotting them? Absolutely. Is that Vulcanite? Yep, we're good. Okay. Uh, didn't leave anything at the crash site, I don't think. Nope. I'm, next time I do this, I'm definitely bringing more construction spiders. Uh, it would have made it a lot easier to do a few things, like, for example, move all the stuff over here. Um, for now, I'm going to shove everything in here. Don't need this anymore. The settings for that are saved, um, and I can just keep it at will. Turn off my logistics. Um, I might leave a few things here just in case, but I'll decide that after I've loaded the whole thing. I'll definitely leave the stuff here so we can make another uh, nuclear plant if we want to. Though I don't think we're going to need it. I do wish there was a way to sort this. Uh, we'll leave the cargo rocket sections as well. Cargo rocket section. Oh, there's too many filters. Yeah, I set up a thing here so that it would load. Why the packed cargo rocket? Oh, I see. Yeah, I set something up here so it would load this stuff to an upper limit, but uh, we used too many filters on this by putting this stuff in here. Okay. That's not going to help. Can you just get out of the way for a sec, please? Might have to rethink that one. Take the rest of those. 
and the extra capsule. It works while this thing is empty. Um, I suppose we could do it easily with just um, just a couple of extra chests and inserters. We have our chests. So this is going to be capsules. And this is going to be buggo rocket sections. Uh, don't need this anymore. And we're just going to set conditions like so. Capsule equals zero. Um, cargo rocket section. That's the one. I guess we don't need this combinator anymore, but it's fine. Don't need this to go here. That's good. And I think that works. Uh, we'll leave the landfill here. We actually have a little bit of a shortage of stone back at home, so why don't we just take this? Deal with the scrap at home. Rocket fuel can stay. Take the solar panels back. Maybe we should... I was going to say maybe we should uh, keep the accumulators for the umbrella. But it takes so, so many accumulators uh, to help support that. We've got a lot of steam. One point one gigawatts. What does it take? to stop a uh, coronal mass ejection. This one's headed for Mariel, but it's only 0.89 gigawatts. Peak power, 71 gigajoules over 120 seconds. Mariel is, uh, I think, I think Mariel will be able to handle that. Yeah, we've actually got 82 gigajoules in the accumulators alone. So that'll be fine. I will leave some rods, assembly machines, if I can remember where they are. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, you gave it to the spider. That's fine. Don't know why the spider is carrying meteor defense ammo, but we might fix that. Um, can I just put it here? There we go. And these are all loaded. Oh. We've got a whopping... Oh, it's doing the double thing again. But I think it gives us the correct rate, as if this was nine of them anyway. 
go. So we're actually getting 45 uh, uranium core fragments per second from this planet, which is pretty good. Um, it looks like... Oh, this isn't connected. Doesn't reach. There we go. Obviously it's all on a half belt, but we're consuming uh, the core fragments from all the way along the belt. Uh, we could use a stack inserter for these, perhaps. Should be enough to make sure we bottleneck on not the belt. Except it looks like we are bottlenecking on the belt. Uh, maybe, maybe I should add one more of these. Uh, one more pair, that is. Does the spider carry these? Nope. Where are our delivery cannons? I know I've got some spare. Delivery cannon. Um... Are they in here? Oh, they are. Craftily hidden. And it would probably help if I turned on my robopots. A mucky? Wait a sec. Where's the applause? Oh, I forgot to click this thing. Uh, okay. Let's try that again. There we go. Good to see you again. A welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And welcome, welcome, whiskers. Alright, are we just about done here? Uh, the uranium can go in here, please. Did I not set this up properly? Oh, these should probably be a loop, I guess. Um, like so. And like so. Should get enough uranium 235 by the time that chest fills up. I hope. If not, we might just have to patch things. Actually, I could do this as well. That's sure to be enough, I think. Okay. Let's figure out what else we're taking back with us. Coal, we don't need. Actually, we're getting... We've been deleting coal back on Nalvis. And the bots, please stop doing that. Uh, 
Uh, don't need cargo pads laying around. Belt is a good idea, actually. I actually had to arrange for another rocket to send those. What's this? The spooder's already carrying it. That's good. Um, anything else? Didn't hurt to leave some chests behind either. realize that we're muted. We got to prog module these. Oh, we're still waiting on fuel. In that case, uh, let's throw down a beacon. And that's going to now bottleneck on light oil, which we don't have a terribly quick production rate for. So I'll throw this in here. Power might be useful. Uh, okay. That's a bit better. What's that flashy for? Can't really tell. Uh, meanwhile, a production of uranium core fragments has been looking a lot better lately. So we were averaging something like 634 per minute. No, wait, we're currently at yeah, over this entire period, this is 695 per minute. Over the last 10 minutes, we're looking at 2.3k. Nice. So... Uh, just under 7 minutes for a trainload of uranium core fragments to be picked up from here. and get taken over this way. And how much actual uranium have we been making? Over the last 10 minutes, we're looking at 900 per minute. Uh, 
over the last 10 hours, 168 per minute. That is a pretty big increase. 17 E235 per minute as opposed to 11. That's not that big a jump. 63 per minute. 18 per minute. That's huge. Cool. How's our fuel looking? Still creeping along. Um, do we not have some repair packs in the bot network here? Ah, uh, don't have any construction bots. They're all in the spider. Uh, but yeah, definitely next time I'll be bringing like 10 construction spiders to a planet fall instead of just one. Cool. Seems like the inserters are keeping up with the belts now. Now the only question is if we need more of this. Doesn't look like we do. Oh, that was sudden. Uh, but yeah, these machines seem to be keeping up quite well. In fact, we're bottlenecking on these copper cables. That's fine. And they're getting to the end of the belt, which means... I'm pretty sure the overall rate of production for this is not struggling at all. So then, uh, why don't we pick up our spider friends? I should have led them all where I could see them first. Hopefully my inventory won't be too full after this. Um, come over here, please. I think we'll be fine. Actually, at this rate, I might have to point the remote at them. Uh, you're kidding. That's a problem. I don't suppose I can put this spider down to have them follow it again? Okay, I found a way. I just have to jetpack onto the building where I would be stuck. Far enough away from that entrance close enough to the spider to trigger getting into it. Cool. And yeah, let's take all of them back. Now, uh, let's do a quick save here. Uh, and see what our UPS is. Just standing here, zoomed in, it's just... Uh, it dipped down to 47 point something for a second. Now, I would like to trim all of the planets that we can. does take a moment. Takes a few moments, actually. Um, OK. 
Okay, it looks like everything's still working. There we go. I don't think we're going to see a significant difference in UPS from just one of these. Yeah, we're still down to 47 there. Lady Aranin, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How was your stream today? Two Point Hospital. What's that like? I think our UPS is already up just a bit. I could be... Uh, I don't want to say imagining it so much. But we've got a few more planets to trim the surface of, and we'll see how, see how that affects UPS. That one didn't take as long. Oops. That's a lot less stuff to look at. Uh, taser. Trim surface. Hey, sorry, couldn't hear you too well. Volume was low. Uh, no worries, just saying thanks for the raid. And welcome, welcome. How was your stream today? Hey, Green Mango. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It landed in her hospital. Stream was great. Nice. Oh, this one's done already. Cool. Uh, next is... Hagen, with our beautiful icy blue ball, with not a whole lot going on in it. Trim surface. And that one might take a little bit longer. Mango is funny, okay. If I could get rid of those extra things we've got sticking out there, we could make the surface that we keep a lot smaller. Uh, Penium and Willian we haven't visited yet. Lothar, I think, was the first one we trimmed. Let's just double check. Yeah, it was. Rampart, we haven't visited. Palto. Uh, I don't really know why we've got anything still here in Palto. Let's trim that. I don't think there's anything actually there, so that'll probably delete the entire surface. Same goes for this one, I think. Let's give that a trim. Doesn't take very long when there's not a whole lot there. Uh, Rose surface doesn't even exist yet. I guess... I'm surprised we can't see anything here, but this does have... Deleted zero chunks. Trimmed zero to three. Okay. So much. Uh, Soma, we got some biters expanding indefinitely. I don't know how effective trimming it is going to be. Whether they'll still expand while we don't have eyes there or not, but that's fine. Telebi, of course, our little baby uranium planet. So it had quite a few biters and has bitium, bitia? Biter Meteors. Um, this was back when we were still doing this whole infrastructure, breaking down the core fragments on the planet. Not the best idea in hindsight. Uh, we'll give that a trim as well. Didn't take long. Mars, uh, the first planet we visited. Couldn't get enough uranium going. Um, 
to get, uh, what do you call it? Cover X cycling. A fat boy not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That might have a pyramid on it. Nice. I found that they were revealed and left there around trims. Makes sense. If you trim, delete a world with biters, and then regenerate the world anew, it returns to generation biter bases only. So the biter bases actually get deleted by that? Okay. And then... I'm not going to trim Nalvis. Uh, Marielle could definitely use a trim. Is there another shortcut for that somewhere? Delete surface history. I don't know how safe that is. Okay. Now, pointing the camera here, our UPS... I think we did gain a couple of UPS. It's not a whole lot, but it's definitely not nothing. It was dipping down to 47 point something earlier. In fact, yeah, minimum is like, oh, no, it just got down to 47 again. It seems like our average is up though. Not the most scientific measurement of it, obviously. But... What is this? Oh, we don't have the cannons... ...placed. I don't have any bots on me, that's why. And I'm gonna need those stack inserters. Where did they go? That should just about do it. It seems we're bottlenecking on the actual cannons. Um, not either of the inputs for them. No, the... Oh, it's not receiving... Interesting. The inserters actually stopped because... Um, the delivery cannon chest still had something in it. Wait, so we're now actually bottlenecked on these belts here, sort of. I could always... It's not actually the inserters that are slowing things down. Um, it's the balanced load. Well, that is a milestone I did not expect to reach just yet. We're not actually doing 90 of these per second, but... Uh, unless I redesign this... Yeah, it's actually kind of the balanced load system that's bottlenecking this. Not balance flow, the bottleneck is cannon power recharge. Well, the cannons actually stopped. Uh, the red lights on the stack inserters here tell us that because there are uranium core fragments in this chest, it's not sending... Although... Most of the time, it is empty. Yeah, I think it probably... It might be the can... This one's ready to... F oh, it's... Yeah, it's the recharge. So... If that's the case... 
Maybe we should add some more. Also, I just realized that the ones I added earlier... Um, we don't have these connected. We need to make sure they don't ever overflow uh, the chest. How's that gonna... Ooh, that's getting close to the limit of what our nuclear power can handle. Um, how much, how much have we got in terms of landfill? 5.1k. I don't believe that's enough to make another... We need 6.5. We do have a bunch of stone here. I don't think it's enough to make 5.2k divided by 50 is 104 additional landfill. We don't have enough landfill to make uh, a second one of these, and I could have sworn I calculated it so we would. There is stone everywhere. I could... There's actually a lot of stone everywhere. I could have the spider go and pick it up, and are we ready to launch? Great. I might do that. Um, let's, whoops. Wait, where did I? Let's make sure we leave some of this stuff behind. Uh, let's give all the stone back. Uh, my inventory. Stone. Where did our multicolored chests go? I should put a couple of the construction bots. Wait, where are the rest of the construction bots? Oh. just a few of them in this robo network. Okay. I think what we'll do is make some landfill. Request chest. And why don't we put this here? Can't prod this. Uh, we don't need to speed it because stack insert is going to be the bottleneck. And we'll bring all the landfill here. Construction spider can go. Let me just double check. We've got logistic request to empty it of stone, I think. Yes, good. End call. Right, so we can get our construction spider to go around picking up stone, and that should be enough to make another one of these pretty soon. Oh, and I've been meaning to add this weird bit of missing uh, landfill.
Do you try the electric boiler? Do you mean for um, storing power? We could definitely do that. Actually, this is a good opportunity to update this blueprint as well. So let's do that now. Perfect. I could get rid of some of the landfill, I suppose. I don't really want to bother. Save blueprint. And I didn't even realize this would all be in range of the robo network. Well, we're still, still going to need the spider to help. But yeah, that's fine. Oh, and I definitely wanted to take the fish back with me. I think we're just about ready to go back to Nalvis. Uh, let's see. NAUV. Nalvis landing pad. Launch should be... Oh, that was the rocket fuel just to go to orbit. Okay, we have to wait a bit longer for some liquid rocket fuel, unfortunately. Um, we'll have that ready for next time. Use to bank steam when you get uh, got exceed excess power after charging up the accumulator. Yeah, it's not entirely efficient, but it's uh, it's definitely well. You'll you'll lose some energy in order to store it, uh, if I recall correctly. But um, the energy density of storing hot steam and using the steam turbines to consume it is far, far, far more than uh, accumulators. So that's quite good for the umbrella. In fact, I should probably make a blueprint that includes the umbrella and a bunch of steam turbines. Seems like a good idea. Uh, are we full? Yes, we are. Okay. Are those bots going to be stuck forever, or just until there's more room in the spider? There we go. Liquid rocket fuel, we need uh, about 47,000. This can do 124 per second, but it's going to be a bit slower than that. Uh, we could take some of the solid rocket fuel we've already got here, speed things up a bit. In fact, since we can produce it here now, that makes a lot of sense. This will get us a little bit closer. Yes, you lose power, but I think it's fine since set power is free. Set power. Uh, we haven't got satellite power yet, if that's what you're referring to. But yeah, there's, there's various sources of free power. Solar power. Oh, okay. Also, don't know if I said, uh, Gameron. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Fifty-seven k. That was not the burst of fuel production that I was hoping for. Wait, did. I still leave it 
No, I got rid of the cracking to petroleum. We've actually got quite a bit of... Okay, so we're making oil here faster than we're consuming it with this stuff now. Except this is still... You're kidding. I must have accidentally removed it. That'll get us there a bit faster. Um, could probably stand to have another one of these handy. And can we do the same thing over here? Kind of. Not really. Can't actually get that close enough without changing this pipe layout over here. All right, this one's fine. No, it's not. How about this then? And how should we shape this one? How fast is this? Less than one per second. We could use a long arm. Uh, I don't have a long arm handy in my shortcuts. Let's go grab one. If I can find one. Don't tell me I have no long arms. That seems odd. What about our construction spider? Yeah, there we go. Alright. Not the perfect ratio, but that should keep things going at a better pace. rid of the stone already. I'm actually a little bit shocked that we consumed all of that stone that fast. Let's get our construction spider to pick up some more. Seventy K fuel, we're getting there. Uh I would love to see if Oh, I know, the orbital base. If we've got uranium here, that's fantastic. Uh although I may have sent it up. I think I remember sending it up um without a full rocket, actually. Um Where is our Uranium rockets. Nothing in here yet. Okay. Where else are we looking for uranium?
We've got how much uranium here? 4.3k. That's half a train load. It's still pretty slow overall. I mean, it's great for an infinite supply, but uh, if it's going to catch us up to getting things where they need to be, it's going to take a while. But yeah. It's actually got more out of this planet um, than I expected, so that's quite good. Just got 20k rocket fuel to go, and we're out of here. Spidertron come back. This stuff's getting placed here with relative ease. I just want to place... oh wait, we're going to have to add a big pole as well, aren't we? Uh, let's grab a couple of those. If I can remember where they are. Bit of landfill. Turn off Robopot. And then... Roboport goes here, and big pole to connect these. That's slightly upsetting. Can I bump this up a little bit? Yeah, let's swap these two around. Where's my Roboport? Or is a bot bringing it already? I think I put Roboports in here. It's probably being carried by the Spidertron. Once we have this Roboport placed, it'll be a faster process to... Well, not necessarily that much faster, but... Once I place all of these Roboports... Um... we can know that the bots will build the whole thing. Let's be careful and place it properly. And... Where exactly does our Roboport go? I feel like I'm lining that up wrong. There we go. Uh, but let's remove the reactor until we're ready. Same goes for the inserters. Are you not carrying Robopods? I know I have enough. Just have to find them. There they are. Roboport goes here, and now I can count on the bots to 
uh, build all of the landfill unless we don't have enough. How's our fuel looking? 90k, 91k, fantastic. Don't know why I brought space assembly machines. Um, I guess it definitely couldn't hurt to leave some centrifuges. Not really worried about any of this other stuff. Ratio for rocket fuel is 4 to 1. I think I remember it being 5 to 1, but that was without productivity modules. Also, is this just as fast? Uh, wait, 9, 9. Yeah, same speed. So if we don't run out of one fluid as opposed to the other, which we do, um, we actually still need more solid rocket fuel here. Oh, um, it would probably help if these were placed a little bit better. I wonder if, uh, this is going to go full speed now, right? But without the speed modules. Pretty easily. I could change this one over to, um, the light oil based variant. If a bot would just get around to placing the pipe. There we go. Oh, and it would help if this was powered. And then I could always add one of these here if necessary. Which I think it is. Actually, it's almost hard to see. This is full. Oh, it's the light oil that it's bottlenecking on. Oh, the so solid rocket fuel isn't sped up. Uh, whoops. Easily fremedied. And now, of course, we're going to bottleneck on the solid rocket fuel. Maybe we need some stack inserters. Can't exactly do that here. Okay. So this thing seems to be going full speed now. Yep, that's looking good. And we're starting to fill up that liquid fuel container. All right, no more speed modules over here. We're ready to go back. Got all of our military spidertrons. Leaving the... Wait, there's one more military spidertron trying to hide. Sneaky. Uh, we'll leave our construction spidertron here. 
This will accumulate enough to go anywhere. Um, I could always add condition on this. Just make sure that that leaves room for, I don't know how much solid rocket, uh, liquid rocket fuel. Actually, we should probably keep that mostly empty, right? So let's see, liquid rocket fuel less than 1k. And then, I think we're ready. Well, if we're not, it's really not that much trouble to come back. Now this landing pad. Launch delayed. Waiting for target landing pad to empty. Did I forget to remove, well, not remove, but put back uh, this stack inserter? I did. All right, let's wait for this to be just about empty, I suppose. Which is gonna be about two minutes. Uh, I guess I could speed it up. Actually, I'd like to do it in a way that isn't going to make copious bot jobs. That'll do. I guess most of that was going to fit in one chest anyway. How much landfill have we got left? At 6k. Spooda. Go grab some more stone. I should definitely... Uh, mark all of the trees and rocks in this robo-network. Well, the rocks, I should say for deconstruction. That should add up to some amount. This is actually nearly 2,000 stone just from that one click. But it's 150 of that for how much landfill we'll end up getting. I could turn the scrap into landfill, but no. I don't think I'll do that. Okay, we're ready. Away we go. Very slowly. At first. Need to reconfigure this remote. Uh, where is my noble steed? Over here. Fantastic. Actually, should get these capsules back in circulation as well. That one was full of some stuff. Let's reactivate our logistics. Maybe I should keep uh, this as another group of spiders. That's a weird little dance that they're doing. 
Is this working? Yes. It does take a lot of clicks to reconfigure them. Oops. That was the wrong one as well. Uh, I should set this to... Where did I put our construction spiders? I think they're back at base. Oh, there they are. Right under my nose. Fantastic. Was there anything I didn't finish building over here? Well, there's some stuff I didn't finish designing in the first place. But that's not what I meant. Oh, that was wrong. And then one more. Oh. And I think I made a spare remote. Wait, which one's this? That's how... Oh, I changed the shortcuts on these, that's why. Okay. Let's bring squad one here, squad two here. And... Once this lot... I've resupplied, which might take a little while if it has to happen here. I think it would be better to bring them over to the other mall. And let's get the original uh, squad to clear this out a bit more. know how big that biter base is going to be. Right then. Pick up the rest of this stuff. Purple chests that haven't been emptied show the bots are still pretty busy. Why am I carrying this many... Uh, big mining drills. Shouldn't be carrying space assembly machines either. At least for now. Uh, now that we've sorted out Lothar... I guess our next target is this Vitamelange planet right here. Biter Meteor's decent threat, and the planet is really, really big. Um, I'm hoping there's an island that is going to be all we have to defend. But we do need a reliable supply of vitamelange. We've got cryonite, holmanite, iridite, and there was another exotic resource we needed. I don't know if it's in this solar system though. This one also has vitamelange. Uh, solar is a bit better, quite a lot better actually. The planet is tiny though, waterless, um, threat is only 3%. This would be a lot... Which one was it? Uh, threat 7%. That was the only Vitamelange one, wasn't it? This would be a lot easier to get going. 
How big was Lothar? 5,000 radius, and this is only 4,000. Spider Meteors, I think, is consistent with every planet that has Vidomelange core. Solar 80% isn't too bad. Um, I can't remember the name of that exotic resource that we need to get. It doesn't seem to be in this solar system. Hey, Morbel. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I did the island thing. It got expanded onto. Ouch. Uh, let's check on our orbital base. We've got no copper. That's a problem. Everything else is looking okay, except for vitamelange extract as well, which is needed for bioscience. Going and getting a uh, vitamelange cores sent back. Well, let's double check this, actually. Going by the pattern we've seen so far. Okay, we do get regular core fragments from this, which means... Uh, we get just a little bit of copper. Um, so that's good, at least. Regular core fragment processing has been continuing, even though this stuff is stuck. I actually have an idea... I'm going to change this design so that instead of stone, we're going to switch over to coal as the thing that we get rid of. It's going to be a little bit of a mess to tidy up. And... That's weird. That's not actually connected properly. That probably caused us some problems. Oh, there's a... Uh, beryllium. That's the last... I believe that's the last uh, exotic element that we need to pick up. Okay. So... This chest should be measured like so. I'm surprised I missed that. These ones look fine. And what I'm going to do is swap coal and stone here. So let's put all of our coal into here. Um... Can I just turn this train off for now? Actually, it would have been quicker to do it like this. And then... There we go. And it's also going to allow us to delete coal like this. As soon as we get enough coal in this thing, it should start destroying these items. Which will mean everything can move forward again. And once... Uh... I was going to say, once these chests are empty. Yeah, it's probably faster if I just don't touch them now. I was going to do like a balanced load or something.
Once it all catches up again, these will all fire in unison once the bots stop moving. Uh, I guess we're not putting the coal in both directions, which will probably be fine. These two should be swapped around. And that should be okay. Right, that's finally empty. Set this to stone, and we've changed the primary resource that we're dumping here uh, to coal. Wait, which station was that thing aiming for? Depot, good. What about you? You are leaving once you've got no iron. Which... It looks like... Oh, how did this happen? That explains a lot. That should now do a balanced unload. I'll take that. And... Rebalance all this. Did we make the same mistake anywhere else? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, no, it looks fine actually. A Sigma Bean, Royal PS2K. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Had that on Vulcanite Planet, was easy to get home. One of them for deep space science is found in deep space. Yeah, I figured there'd be something like that. Um, but beryllium is a lot more of an immediate need. I don't actually know. This is the only beryl one, isn't it? Morpheus. Uh, parent is... Angelus, which is a different star. There it is. In fact, there's only one planet here. 17% threat, relatively small planet, mysterious structure, um, and we can... We can set a cargo rocket to be aimed there, right? We can, surprisingly. Uh, it does take a lot of fuel, but ultimately that's no big deal. I think I would like to get the Vita Melange flowing first, though. Also, can we get a... This is only 710k. It's not that great. Oh, here we go. Uh, there's actually 7.8 million copper within our walls. I think it would be a good idea to grab that now. So, let's get going. I don't think I'm going to need the construction spiders to help with this, but it's not a bad idea to bring them anyway. Also, I should probably do something about... I, I think I'll get the construction spiders involved in emptying this, because I think it's at a stalemate somehow. That's a lot of stuff. 
stuff that hasn't been picked up by the trash train. I think it might have something to do with... Yeah, I actually overdid. I, I, I completely filled up our storage in the old base. That's probably why. So I might have to do something about that. Why do we have all this used up uranium fuel cell? Oh my goodness. Um, that's actually a lot of chests that are full of used up uranium fuel cells. Uh, I thought I had something to deal with them somewhere, but maybe, maybe I accidentally deleted it or something. So, let's get that sorted first. Um, I'll put it right next to the storage. Request. And... That's it for provider. We'll need a... Module inserter, productivity, and then deal with nuclear fuel, and that should do it. Right. I should probably make this a purple chest, actually. There we go. Next, we need to make a copper mine. And I may as well make it quite dense. Like, not that one. This one? Since we want this copper as soon as possible. Does that cover it? I think it does, yep. And one like this, I suppose. It would probably help if I turned my RoboPod on. The spice must flow. Yes, indeed. And we'll need to make a train stop. May as well get rid of this. Let's do a right side pickup station. Uh, I'll wait till this is built so we can see how fast it's going to be. What else was, was I doing? How's our military doing? They got a little bit scratched. Not too bad. That should get a good bit of work done. Oh, let's get these expansions on the same trip. And send them back for resupply. Next group can go this way. Lots of small little expansion bases here. 
Nothing too scary. And I guess find out what's over here as well. And then back to base. Alright, this thing seems to be built. Let's power it up. And we're going to need a few more poles. Rate calculator says 145 per second. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, it will make it a bit more complicated to figure out where the belts are going, though. I think I'll just turn this one around. And we'll merge it with this one. Don't need this or this. So this gives us one, two, three, four, call it four belts. And we know what to do when we've got four belts, right? Four to four lane balancer. Can't squeeze that in there, can I? I could. If I do this. One, two, three, four. Same thing over here. And I guess this is probably going to look like that. Oh, no. Should just about do it. Uh, can we get some power over here, please? Actually, let's do the belts first. stack inserters to keep up with all this. And that should be all it takes. We've already got the rail signal set up correctly for this station. Uh, we could just not worry about 
Um, we could just not worry about having the trains. Well, we wouldn't want them to share these sectors anyway. Cool. How much copper have we got? 4.2k. Um, we are bottlenecking a bit on the balanced loader. So let's set it up so that they'll go a bit ahead of the average. And that'll consume all of the copper. Shouldn't be long before a train is scheduled to come here. Up to five seconds from now. Oh, that was quick. Nice. All right, back to base. And I think we'll get the construction spiders uh, to lend a hand loading all this stuff. Although, I was going to say we should see the trash trains in motion again. Uh, where are they? This is a trash train. It's trying to go to trash pickup. There's a... Oh, no. There's... That should be empty. Where are you trying to go to? To pick up nuclear fuel, I guess? But you're holding nuclear fuel. Uh, that's confusing. Why don't you just go back for now? Why is there a traffic jam? I think it's probably this. Now, how did this happen? Where's my spider? Here we go. I'm just gonna... Oh, I think I know what's wrong here. Yeah, I should definitely change how that works. I think we stopped doing it for every other resource using uh, green chests for this. Need to come up with a different system next time for putting wayward copper back into the main bus. So let's do a balanced load, and I guess once the train empties, we'll do it again. That should allow all of this traffic to move again. Remains to be seen, but it's looking good. Fantastic. Uh, oh, this hadn't been in motion. No? Why is that a regular inserter? Trash pickup. Why is... Oh, I see. Thinks none of the trash pickup stations are available? Or is it trying to go to this one, actually? Trash pickup... It is enabled. I think this is why this uh, never got finished before. 
I should probably make a rail block system for handling the trash instead of bringing it back to the main bus, uh, main bus base. But it does seem to be working again. Do we even have this train anymore? We don't. Let's get rid of this. And I think we can get rid of the artillery shell production. Um, we do have it in the rail network. So no need to worry about that. Don't even... Uh, we do still need to make cliff explosives. So is this still balanced? Yeah, that looks good. Should see another copper train coming to pick this up soon. Uh, at this rate, we're going to get to 9,000 before the train is scheduled. Well, we saw it work once. It's probably fine. How are our smelters looking? We actually did manage to get the iron and glass stuck over here. That's interesting. Uh, I do see copper ore at all of these stations, though. So I don't think... I don't think that happened so quickly from the copper mine that we just built. Probably... We need more smelters to take advantage of this and catch up. Oh, hello. Copper. Two thousand times forty eight. It seems like we've actually got plenty of copper. We're just still waiting to catch up with the capsules. A hey, Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. As expected, it's still rocket control units, and it's actually glass now. That's interesting. I am a little concerned that we're seeing iron and glass, uh, the glass train here stuck. Because I thought I had that side fixed already. Your rewards are the best? Thank you. Yeah, I need to make sure I drop this rail off here first. Um, and then have a look at... These are actually all set up correctly. I, I did see, uh, I think it was copper and stone brick have a problem with loading before, but it was very clearly... Ah, it's still doing it. What the hell? How is there only 2.2k in here if this is 3.1? 2.8, 2.8. Um, I think I also changed it so that we actually have to have, like... Nope, that's the same as before. Stack threshold, 200. Am I not carrying rail? I forgot the personal logistics, didn't I? Okay, can I make some rail? I could make 12... We need 10. That was kind of lucky. Uh, 
and there was a train trying to come here this whole time as well. 2.3k, 3.5k, 3.5k, 2,000. And this is, uh... I think allowing them to go 100 ahead of the average might be a bit too much. So we need to find a sweet spot where we do get a balanced load, but the the inserters will rush on ahead a little bit in order to make sure they keep up with the belts. Um, well, we know that's going to be pretty well balanced once the inserters catch up. So let's rebalance this here. And I wonder how well balanced that's going to be. Let's copy this. And 4.4k, 4.8. That's not too bad. All right, so we'll copy this to our rail blocks over here. Hopefully that'll keep it balanced enough that it doesn't mess up the loading if we're running low. time to do the usual fix for this one. Once this is loaded, let's get rid of these, and since most of these are full, it's already pretty well balanced. I can't move. There we go. Let's rebalance it anyway, and same goes for the iron plate. So hopefully that won't jam again. Uh, the inserters are out of sync here. I think we're going to have the same problem. And these ones are sticking out as well. Okay. And so is this one. We've got a few of these to fix. Let's start with this one while we're still waiting for the iron to load. All of these inserters need to be not sticking out when there's no train, that's the entire point. Uh, this looks fine actually. I could have sworn, since they weren't swinging in sync, that something bad would happen. And this one needs fixing. Alright. Maybe we should do some more smelters. Actually, no. Um, we've got like 100,000 copper here. The problem isn't the copper, it's the... Well, glass got stuck, so we stopped making um, uh, rocket control units for a while. And rocket control units are what we need for our uh, space cap tools in order to get all of these rockets ready to launch. As soon as there's a delivery of space capsules to this station in particular... Actually, I have an idea. Um, let's go... 
to this one. And I have an idea for a patch uh, that will that will help with this. Not the biggest deal. All we have to do is uh, count how many of these rockets are ready to launch. So. I'll just take the red wire this time so there's no interference from what's on the green wire already. That's a little bit of a nuisance. Hmm. If we add a substation here, it's going to reach. So that should tell us there's one, two, three, four, five rockets ready to launch, and we need seven. So what I'm going to do. I think we could do it for both stations as well. Uh, we're just going to say... If... Uh, if cargo rocket... That's the wrong one. If less than seven of these are ready to launch... We'll output, um, I guess we won't output the input count, just one will be enough to bump the priority up above the others. So we'll put this here, and I can't exactly, would a green wire matter? I don't think so. Is it okay if this station knows how much of this stuff we've got and vice versa? I think it's fine. So if we put green wire like so, that should not interfere. with the other signals. Oh, and I meant to output this as a request priority. So I'm not sure entirely how LTN works with the priorities, but I think just setting as, as priority one, it'll be absolutely a higher priority than the other stations requesting the same things. And that should mean that the next time we get uh, some space capsules available, it should bring it right here. So we're just prioritizing uh, when it comes to the ingredients to launch a rocket, we're prioritizing the rail blocks like this that are... that have any cargo rockets that are not ready to launch. Now we just actually have to get the glass over here that's somehow not arrived yet. Don't tell me we have the same rub. Oh, that explains it. All right. Let's grab our patch for the smelters. And we'll paste them into these. Hopefully that'll prevent... 
the same jam happening in the future. And we will, it will require some manual intervention. But yeah, it looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five trains that came to pick up glass. And all of them got stuck. Hey, El Pancho. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Why did we stop moving? And I was muted, wasn't I? I was just saying I'm very tempted to, next time I do a system like this, um, assume that an error will happen and put something in to handle it. Slept well, yeah. Hope you had a good day so far. Yeah, not too bad. Glad to hear it. All right, on to the next one. Give to me that little bit of iron. Of course, if I just had one inserter per cargo wagon, it would take about six times as long to load, but uh, I haven't, I've never seen one of the designated inserters that does the last little bit for each cargo wagon. I've never seen them sticking out. So maybe that would be worthwhile. We'll see if the current patch makes any changes uh, to whether these get stuck. This one looks fine. Considering that we traced the problem back to these chests getting imbalanced, um, and found that letting them go a hundred ahead of the average was still too imbalanced. I think we have figured out how to fix it. Um, although, considering these chests are full, I guess it's because it's been smelting this whole time. Maybe I should just set it to, like, one stack ahead of the average that it's allowed to go. Then again, maybe 20 is small enough as well. Just two more to go after this. The rocket control units are probably getting built now. Yes, fantastic. Let's see. It went from literally zero to uh, 1.2k per minute. Nice. So there should already be some... Nope. We haven't made any more capsules, have we? 70... Oh, that's the wrong type. Yeah, no. And... Away you go. One 
one more. Actually, this one's broken as well. I'll grab this, and then grab this one as well. And then I'll fix all three, hopefully, before a train comes. There we go. And last but not least... Fantastic. Alright. I'm 99% sure if I do set these to only pick up when they're below or equal to the average exactly, this'll stay perfectly balanced and we won't get this problem. I'm pretty sure that's the source of it. Looks like our rocket control units are on the way. Fantastic. Um, wait, what? Did I just add a stop? I did. Don't do that, please. I was trying to add a movement to the spider. Military spiders are all back and hanging out. Let's get them to do something useful. And that's quite enough for one trip, I think. And finally, here come our capsules. Fantastic. Let's get these ones to clear out these expansions. And a few proper bases. And then back to resupply. Right. Once we have, I think, 16 of these space capsules, um, that will be sending a train, and I want to see, it should fully automatically head to this station in particular. And once that happens, we're going to get supply to the orbital base a lot more reliable. Meanwhile, uh, let's see what kind of space science we've got queued up. Actually, quite a lot of material and energy science packs. Uh, like, all of the material science packs, actually. This is almost as far back as that could go. So, oh! Oh, we've got blue science as well. Uh, all the way back to here, except there's a little bit of belt missing, so it's not actually that much. Where are our spiders? Here we go. Let's send you... Uh, down this way. And about how many... 20 plus 30 plus 30, about 320 uh, astronomic science packs.
muted indeed. Whoops. Um, I almost have enough astronomic science packs saved up to get this done immediately. But it's not going to cut it just yet. I am really looking forward to uh, the weapon delivery cannon, though. Uh, I think there was a couple of... There was something or other... This requires bioscience. Uh, I think there was something or other that we needed a lot of yellow signs for that was good. Follow a robot count, not really. Projectile damage. It doesn't hurt, but it's not really that high a priority. Ooh. Uh, I think we might just have enough astronomic science packs for pylons, so let's grab them. Distributes electrical energy, 64 tile connection range. Supply area is only 4x4, four four. damn it. I was hoping it would be a pylon substation that we're looking at. We need energy science 2 for that. Uh, more inventory space is definitely welcome. Let's queue that up. And better shields is a lot cheaper. Let's do that first. This one is also very cheap. Okay, that'll do for now. And there's our heat shielding. That was quick. We only got 15 space capsules because the distribution of the rocket control units was not that even. And I set a threshold here of fifth, uh, 16. Whoops. If I set this to 10, it should give us a pickup every other time. So in a few seconds, we should see a train scheduled to go exactly where we want it to, I hope. Uh, not sure what's taking so long here. What's the request threshold? 35. That's a problem. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Copy it to this one as well. I want to make sure the prioritization system works. There we go. Train is coming, but I didn't see this yellow light. That's not a good sign. It is going to the right station. Um, But the light... There's no yellow light. I've only seen that happen a couple of times. Research complete. Fantastic. Well, uh, that'll do it, though. So I think we will... Fantastic.
And you should be launching as soon as you're full. Uh, but yeah, we should be copying as much as we can of this to the other stations. And one more up here. We need to add the uh, substation. Actually, I could probably blueprint this. Remove everything except for substations. And as long as we can find where that fits. A triple exposer. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And we need to connect the red wires from these. And we'll physically have to go over there as well. All right. Well, if we have to go there physically, we may as well just do that every time. This is taking longer to load than I realized it would, although our UPS is getting a bit sad. It's going to take a while, but we should see copper flowing in the orbital main bus base quite soon. There is a tiny little trickle from the scrap. That's uh, literally something, I guess. We still only have 127 bio sludge in the entire... Uh, Bio sludge network up here. I think it might be time to head up there with some fish or something to get the whole thing started. Or maybe we could steal bio sludge from up here. There's 9.2k. That might be the way to go. Uh, let's put. That's actually really convenient. Let's make some barrels right here. And the robo network goes all the way down there. Did we get our blue science in place? We did. Fantastic. Uh, but I forgot to put this here, so it's only getting researched at half speed. Let's get the spiders to fix that too. And... Speaking of spider... I need to place the substations and then um, then I can f catch all of these from the navsat. That should make sure we place all the subs. No. Guess not. And then up here, please. Right, so this one's already done. Uh, this one just needs red wire connecting all of Uh, a 
all of these to that one combinator. Perfect. That looks horrendous. That'll do. And I think it's better if we start from the bottom. Research is flying along. Fantastic. And... Seven, 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 and seven. Perfect. Uh, that's not where that goes. Wait, what? Okay. And seven. Great. This also conveniently lets us see how much stuff we've got in all of these rockets as well. Nice. I think that'll pretty much solve our issue of getting capsules to the rockets for a while. Well, indefinitely, actually. Now, uh, as much as I really want to see copper on that belt, we'll wait until it goes there automatically. Uh, meanwhile, we need some barrels of bio sludge. And to do that, we need some chests. And then down here, somewhere, this'll do, except that substation's in the way. Where's the nearest spot we could put this? I guess we could add a little bit of pipe here. Unless I could just move this down one? No. Okay then. Yeah, I don't think there's a really a better spot to do it. All right, pipe goes here. And actually, if I put it there, there's going to be no room for the chests that we need. Where else can I put it? That looks a bit... Oh, it's nothing. Okay. thought there was a bit of pipe sticking out there. I think we can squeeze in the belts. Uh, not the belts, the uh, inserters. So we're going to have output goes here, input goes here, and then we need some empty barrels put into the network. I O sludge barrel. Less than, let's say, 50. And down here, we're just going to be requesting. Bots have to catch up first. While they're doing that, I should be putting barrels into the 
network. That should do it. Empty bio sludge barrel request barrels and purple chest here. And this goes here. That should get the job done. Now let's not make a million barrels. Uh just keep going until there's like 10 in the network. And that'll be 10 available, not in transit. Cool. So there's our bio sludge barrels. And they're already scheduled for pickup. Might take a little while to happen with the minimal logistic bots that we've got up here. Although they don't look very busy right now. Yeah. So it shouldn't take too long to get enough bio sludge to uh, get the uh, bioscience loop started. Fantastic. And what about our copper? It's actually going to get auto-launched quite soon. Not going to lie, I'm kind of excited to see it. So that uh, literally just leaves Vitamelange to get the whole um, orbital main bus bus main bus bus, main bus base going at a decent uh, pace. Tool belt upgrade is on the way. Nice. Uh, let's send our constructions. Oh, what's going on here? But before I forget, let's send our construction spiders back to unload what they're carrying. And I don't want to get too caught up in that myself. The trains actually are still in motion. That's good. And I'll check on these furnaces, or rather the pickup stations from them. seems to be working, but it always does at first. All right, cool. Uh, seeing that these chests are very nearly exactly as full as each other tells me that that might be the final patch, I hope. And I am seeing these belts moving at full speed as well, so... That tells me that... This setting uh, isn't too slow with the inserters. Fantastic. I think we might have actually finally got there, although... Yeah, no, that looks looks pretty good. Fantastic. Back to base. Military spiders. Green squad is just chilling. I should probably start attacking different fronts. so we can get rid of more of the biters that are in the pollution cloud. That should help with uh, UPS a little bit. Let's 
be just a little bit careful. And a bit more careful here. And a lot more careful here. And I think that's enough for one trip. I'll send him back to the main base. We might have enough rockets to load them all up there. Uh, this we can actually do right now. Astrophysics simulation. Looks like we get more significant data out of the same amount of insights pumped into it, although the input is more complicated. That's going to be fine for the rail system. Oh, did I miss the copper launch? I missed the copper launch. Fantastic. Oh, you can see it's still set, uh, still flowing down the belt. So, that... We've run out of uh, rough data storage as well, though. I was going to say that leaves nothing but Vitamelange. But... Data storage. Let me guess, because it needed glass... Oh, it's actually... I don't think I added a block to deal with trash yet. That's what that's about. And we need rough data storage substrates for the regular... Well, it's to make uh, blank data cards, isn't it? Yeah. So that's required for everything. Alright, let's do a trash management block as soon as my inventory is emptied. Actually, the bots are looking pretty busy for the moment. Emptying the construction spiders. I'll go and put this stuff here. And head on over to that rail block. If I can find it. I'm going to put the trash block here for no other reason than... Uh, this is where the... This is the only uh, block in the whole rail system so far that produces trash. Uh, scrap, that is. So we'll start by building this here. And then... Add the usual station-wise. This goes here. Uh, I'm going to need a lot more recyclers. Do I have the construction spiders carrying them? I don't think so. They're carrying like two. I think that's a coincidence. Where's the recycling facility? Here it is. They're actually supposed to be carrying five. Do we not have them automated? I thought you'd deal the scrap in space before. Uh, that was the scrap that was produced in space, but this is on Nalvis. Okay. Got my roboports. 
I do not have any rail still. Oh, I should have set these as well. Whoops. Uh, make that like a hundred. Well, that's going to make it a little bit more difficult to design this part before the construction spiders come here. Do I have those things automated up here? I do. Let's grab some of those. don't know if there's rail up here yet. There is. Fantastic. Uh, meanwhile, let's get Cyan Squad to push the biters a bit further back. And reevaluate after that, I think. Right, we've got our rail things. Let's go. And I can only carry five recycling facilities at the moment. Um, yeah, I don't think I have them automated. So let's resolve that. Recycle, recycle, what's 5 times 48? 240. Limit this to, I don't think we're going to need a whole lot of recycling facilities that often. Let's just say 50 for now. And then... Can we... Speed module this? I want the default to be prods. Looks like we're going to bottleneck on the inserter. Or is it the bots bringing stuff? We're definitely bottlenecking on that inserter. All right, and did I add a request for recycling machines here? Oh, they're already supposed to carry five. Yeah, that's fine. Right then. Uh, the only input is scrap. Don't think we're going to need a whole lot of throughput for that. Maximum rate of scrap production from this block is 60 per second, actually. Um, okay. Maybe I am underestimating things. In any case, if I go overkill for this block, um... It'll only make it easier to support future blocks that might spit out scrap. Unbevelica? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hello to you too. Uh, chain goes out. 
regular signal goes in. And this goes here. And this goes here. So we're going to have three physical outputs and one fluid output. I think these have to be as close together as possible. Scrap recycling. And beacon goes here. One, two, three. How many years have you been playing this game? I've lost count. Um, I wasn't playing it when it was super new, but I don't know, maybe a year or two after that. Uh, prod modules? No? Huh. Okay. If we're going to use speed modules... Then half of one beacon is going to give us 1.26 per second. Um, can we get some construction spiders to bring recyclers yet? Let's do that. And if they have to go back for more, so be it. Wow, well, yes indeed. Um, what? Oh, this is a good time to check on our spiders, actually. Looks like they're doing fine. In fact, they don't even have a scratch on them. That's good. How many rockets do they have left? A pretty decent amount. I think I'll get them to do more while they're out here. Let's get all those little small bait. That one can stay. Just kidding. Uh, the main reason we're clearing out the biters is for UPS, right? And then, I hope this isn't too risky. After that, we'll definitely get them to resupply. Back here where the rockets are. Oh, what was that? Seven or eight rockets to deal with one behemoth? More like ten. Construction spiders are on their way. They're doing well, keep streaming. Thank you. Uh, let's... I want this to be symmetrical. I might have to rotate it manually. Can't have them any further apart if... I want to take full advantage of the beacons. So pipe goes like this. What's the rate for these individually? 4.2 scrap in per second and a combined 1.2 something out per second. Hello, launched new sciences? Uh, not just yet. Biasha Slape, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This, this already uses 25 scrap per second. So we can't even we can't even copy this down twice 
and have that supported by a blue belt for input. So we're not gonna we're not gonna be using a whole lot of space for this build. Um we could space these out a little bit more. And have double blue belts going down the middle like this, perhaps. The easy way to deal with scrap is just turn it into landfill. But then I'm then I have landfill to deal with. Uh Okay. So now we can calculate this better. Uh, let's say we bring in... This is a bit much, but let's say we bring in 16 blue belts of scrap. Um, that is 720 per second. Which is, let's call it 28 times. I don't think we can fit this 28 times, can we? Maybe. Snap to grid relative. And we're going to need a bit more space there for the output. Maybe the pipes should be in the middle, actually. But that's like half. We've got... Well, we've got six times what we started with. Uh, let's give it a bit of power, just so we can... Use rate calculator properly. Six beacons. Uh, multiply this by 12. That would actually deal with 302 scrap in per second. Alright, I think we're just going to put as many of these as we can fit in one block. And I was going to say we should do the pipes in the middle, but we can definitely just have the output belt like this between these. And that'll be pretty simple. Um, we're going to need more than two belts of output, uh, two belts of input going down here though, aren't we? So this is already too big, I think. Uh, that error noise is because they're not powered. Uh, that's actually pretty close to perfect. Uh, if we do one more of these, then we can't support this with two belts. Can't really afford that, though. You can get back a fairly good amount of resources. Yeah, for sure. Okay, um, I wonder how we're doing on stone now, actually. Weirdly enough, we ended up... Yeah, we don't have any stone in storage. Or iron. Or copper. We've got coal. We're full on steel and iron plate, but not iron ore. We do have copper in storage, that's encouraging. No uranium, shockingly. So, let's say... How do I want to lay this out? How far does blue belt reach? That's pretty good. Except we need the inserters in sets of six. Uh, I think we need a stack inserter or two, one stack inserter for each of these for input. 
So it's going to look something like this. Um, if we do it like that, substation in the middle, that's probably going to be good enough. I kind of want to do it like this, just to be sort of consistent. Uh, let's remove the subs that I've put here for now. That seems good. And then this one doesn't need any more. Oh. Substations don't reach each other, though. That's a little bit sad. So there's no one spot I could put these that they're gonna... Alright, fine. Let's do it like this. That one's already connected, though. Depends where we're going to connect it from. And then... Uh, for each individual machine, total output is like 1.2 per second. Fast inserter will do. Sadly, the substations don't reach if they're in the middle here. Um... It's not going to be a good spot for them. Unless... One, two, three, four, five, six. a pretty good fit. Also, we need to connect these. And... See how that goes. There we go. Right then. We're going to need some more recycling facilities. We can set up the scrap stations for now. Scrap. Uh, let's see. If we're going to do this four times, we're going to need 302 scrap per second, which is uh, 6.7 belts. I think we'll do a couple of four belt outputs. Balanced unloader. This one almost does 180 per second. Two of these will cover it pretty well. What is that doing there? Actually, I want to do it like that. And I'm not going to worry about merging them or anything. I think we'll just 
bring this one over here, this here, and so on. That actually lines up really well. Um... I think it might be a sin to turn that into a corner. Oh, this is this is backwards. This is not good. Uh, let's fix that real quick. And if I want to move that uh, combinator, then I'm going to have to copy it and copy the wire connections. Like so. Blank data card demand is low when you start space science pack pro uh, process. Uh, yeah, but I'm kind of somewhat future-proofing this. Right, that's going to make this a little bit tidier still. Which means we can move all of this up a couple of times. One, two. Uh, we can go more than that, actually. one's a little bit different. And that should give us more than enough space down the bottom for the output stations. Right, so we want to copy all of this to the other side. Um, I might figure out how these line up first. In fact, wouldn't it be, since we're not going to fit any more of these in the middle, wouldn't it be better if I move all of this over one more tile? And that will allow well I guess that one will be more straight and this one will be a bit more curvy it's fine So I'd like to follow the same standard on this side. Like so. There's not going to be a lot of oil coming out of this, so we don't have to really worry about the throughput. Wait a sec, do we even have a heavy oil pickup? We don't. Uh. I need somewhere to get rid of heavy oil after this block is done. Coal liquefaction does have a heavy oil. That's actually a heavy oil pickup, which hasn't been getting used at all. Hmm. That's kind of a problem. 
as heavy oil goes, it's actually this entire thing. I suppose instead of outputting heavy oil, we could add something here to turn heavy oil into fuel and burn it. Um, might be the best way to go. Oddly enough. It's not going to output a whole lot of heavy oil. We're going to have uh, 24 times this. 60 heavy oil per second. Um, this output in the middle is going to be a little bit of a pain. Maybe I should bring these closer together. Middle should be here, and then uh, we might have to move all this down a little bit, which should be fine. Okay. So if I put that there, we're going to need one more tile down. There we go. And then for this one... This goes here. I would like the substations to be symmetrical. Also, that'll mean this. these are actually powered in the middle. Just make a one-by-one one train transport the heavy oil to one of your crackdown facilities. The thing is, um, well... I was thinking about dropping off heavy oil here, but I guess it just means more cracking has to happen. That might be fine, actually. I do have to make sure there's enough room. Um... To drop off the heavy oil, otherwise we'll be blocking the coal. There's actually a perfect spot here to add a pump to make this part one way. Alright, do we have our construction spiders relatively close to that? Not really, but sort of. Let's remove these pipes. And these pipes, and add some pumps. And I guess that simplifies this station because. Wait, it's actually just got a request stack threshold. How did we even get heavy oil in here before? I guess it must have been done manually. Alright, let's set this to 8,000 hole. Well, 8,000 request threshold. Instead of a stack. That'll make it a lot more effective with the fluid. By which I mean it'll work at all. And we need to request 
uh, all of the heavy oil. Also, oh, this is one of my older designs for deciding when to request coal. That's fine. All right, so that'll dump the heavy oil into uh oh that's unfortunate that was actually symmetrical already whoops kind of like this better but it does mean we need some substations in here That's actually supposed to be the middle. And then... Like this, I think. One, two, three, four inputs. Okay. So this goes here, this goes here. Something similar over here. I feel like this is neater. Actually like that. And may as well have a underground for this, this part. That one's a bit short. Cool. Where are our construction spiders? There they go. Got our pump in place. There's no power for it. Let's add a sub over here. And over here. Cool. Now. We could add, uh, like, at least three more of these. Uh, let's see, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We could actually add, um, if we don't mind having Beacon way down here, we could add as many of these as we could fit. And the belts would still support it. Depends on what we end up with with the output stations. So here we're going to put iron and copper. Actually, since the throughput's going to be so low, I'm very tempted to just set up the simplest thing possible that'll never jam. Let's do like this. That's nice and symmetrical, right? It's not going to reach, is it? Ok, 
Okay. Out to the sides you go. Just enough. And on this end. We actually only need one more s physical station on this end. This will be fluid. So let's see, we've got all this built. Um, I don't know how well things are going to fit together if we use this space. One, two tiles. Output might get a bit complicated if we do that. How much scrap can this whole thing handle? 302 per second, so that's like six of the, uh, five of these. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. So then we just need, oh, and what's the total output for the physical resources? 30 per second each. That's quite good. So I think what we'll do is just... Um, how should we handle this? It's actually just barely over 90 per second if all of the physical outputs were happening at full speed. Uh, the input can definitely easily exceed this. So do I really want to bottleneck it on the output? On the other hand, two belts really would be almost perfect. Uh, we need an output on the outsides as well. So, let's copy this, and this, probably stick with the same design for belts here, might have to flip that though. And on this side. That neatly connects up. Whoa, what is that mess? So much for neatly. What the? That's horrendous. Why are the power poles like this? Much better. And we need to do something similar over here. That's more like it. Much better, except for this. I'm actually very happy with that. Okay then. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five outputs. 
bottlenecking on slightly more than two blue belts. I could filter them from here each. So, iron and copper and this one's stone. Do we have room for that sort of shenanigans? I think so. And considering one blue belt is far more than enough for each resource, uh, they just have to merge to the appropriate belt, find their destination. I meant to double check actually. 30 per second for each. That's actually more than the inserters that I had in mind can deal with here. So we'd better do a proper loading station. Uh... Start with this. I guess with the way I've laid this out, if I want um, if I want this to be iron and this to be copper, then I should change these around. So iron can go there, copper will look quite similar, and stone, uh, let's make stone go the other way. Just enough room to do it really easy, actually. So... That's gonna go... There... There... I guess that part's the same. That's slightly upsetting. Let's bring it over. Maybe we could do it slightly different this time. That's our stone belt. This is iron. DP these 
train loading do these train loading unloading stations not have serious problems with uneven loading of chests and wagons uh no because i use some circuitry to handle that part um i just haven't gotten to the part where i do that yet uh paul dera welcome welcome hope you're doing well also, I don't know if I said so, Heinche, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Good people. Right, this goes here. And... Can we do better... for the layout of the copper here? Definitely. That's much better. So copper goes there, iron goes there, stone goes here, and then Actually, how far back can this go? Not that far back. No point changing it. I'll have the upper parts line up with this if I can. That seems fine. Excuse me. We'll do something similar on this side. Actually, we don't need as fancy a loader with the um, stone. It was 30 per second, wasn't it? Is our max rate for each individual resource here. Since we're doing one solid, one fluid, we don't have to worry about the inserters sticking out when they're done on this side. All we need to worry about is doing a balanced load and we can do a very precise loader uh, since it's only 30 items per second to keep it going at full speed. That's actually... there we go. So what we're going to do is get the average negative of each of these 24 chests. That's what this green wire, this green wire right here gives us the count of what's in all of these chests. We divide that by 24 times negative one uh, gives us the negative average and the red wire reads what's in the individual chests for the inserters. We compare that to the negative average. And if our chest has an above average amount, uh, it'll implicitly do addition and subtraction with the signals that come on the different wires. Um, so if we're at zero, that means we're average. 
If we're greater than zero, it means we're above average. Uh, this is very handy because if you want to handle multiple uh, resource types, you can actually just use a filter inserter and set filters blacklist. And since it doesn't recognize signals that are zero or less when it comes to set filters, uh, that will cause it to pick up no more than the average for up to five different items. Now, we need to tell LTN what we've got, and down here as well. We also need our oil... Huh, where have I connected these pipes? Up the top? That should be an easy place to connect them all actually how far does this reach not quite far enough down here we don't need any more undergrounds Did I get them all? Yes. This would look a bit better, I think. I don't love that. Let's do it this way. Okay, that's slightly upsetting. Uh, let's do it like this. And then... Like so. Perfect. I think I did actually make that symmetrical. Cool. Not worried about pumps or anything, the oil throughput is going to be quite slow. Uh, 30 per second if everything was going at full speed. Then we're going to bring that down here. And... I think if I set the pickup so that um, the request the provide stack threshold is 160, but the regular provide threshold is 100k, then it'll do whichever's smaller in each instance. So it'll pick this up when there's one train load, and it'll only pick this up when there's 100k, because this ignores stacks. But do I actually want... Um, question is, do I actually want the train to not come for the heavy oil until there's 100k? Because it might be difficult to find room to get rid of it. No, I think we'll be fine. Okay, so... Provide stack threshold 160. Regular provide threshold is 100,000. And that's actually all we need to do. So this is going to be stone and heavy oil provider. This one's going to be iron and copper. Uh, there is one slight change I want to make to the naming convention here. Uh, we're going to set this to active provider chest. This is just in the name, it doesn't actually change anything. But that naming convention is just to say 
we have to keep this empty because there's multiple output products from here. And if one thing gets completely full, it's going to stop. Which means we're going to set this as a high priority. Cool. And then we're going to need one of those fancy loaders over here. Um, I don't think we need stack inserters for this side. And we're going to set these to be precise rather than fast. We will need to... Have some combinators here. Hmm. Don't love this part. That's more like it. Oh, that was connected to the wrong thing, too. I'm glad I did that. Okay. Now. That's more of an aesthetic choice than anything else. Didn't finish this, uh, this part either. That's fine. And stone goes here. I guess I could just do that. I think that's done. Substation. That's actually straight on the map, isn't it? Yeah. And so is that. Oh. Just barely can't reach these ones. That's uh, a little bit sad. And this one's already covered. Next, we need to connect these. Uh, this is going to have to be specifically iron ore. And this is specifically copper ore. That'll be fine. I should probably go ahead and set the requests for scrap up here. I don't think we're going to be changing this. That's a little bit unfortunate. But I guess it's fine. I don't love that wire up there, though. That's, that's good, actually. So this goes here. This goes here. And... Get rid of the rat's nest of wires. Now all we need is a standard drop-off. 
let LT know, L, let LTN know what's already in the station. We're going to request scrap. Uh, what is scrap stack to? Fifty. Fifty. Scrap. Uh, mean, we need scrap to get out of the way always, so let's request a lot of it. And probably bump up the priority. Oh, um, and turn this off real quick. I would need to set the station name before the train is on the way. Scrap. Requester. And there we go. Now, unless I haven't set this station up properly. Oh, there it is. Scrap train is on its way. Fantastic. Now then, whoa, okay. Uh, last but not least, we need to set up our fancy schmancy loading system. Uh, each divided by 24, output each, and output S for stack size. That goes to the red wire, which touches all of these inserters. They're all set to set filters and set stack size S. Once we drop below 24 remaining, um, this isn't going to output anything. And we're going to just output one of whichever resource it is. And that's only going to go to one inserter for each cargo wagon. Before we do that, well, I'm going to cheat a little bit and copy paste from one I've prepared earlier. Uh, this could have used an update when I made this new. In fact, I think I just copy-pasted some outdated circuitry back up here as well. Not that it'll make a difference. The only change here is um, I used to have uh, this as well, alongside this one, which is just, if each is less than 24, output S for stack size 1. Considering the default stack size, if you're setting the stack size is one, uh, that literally doesn't do anything. So before we do that, we need to get from LTN uh, what is being requested. And we also need to subtract what's already in the train. So this is going to be each times negative one. Reading the train contents, just like vanilla. Um, and this one, we're going to connect to the logistic train stop output. Oops. Um, but we're also going to remove some signals from there that we don't find useful. Although, considering this uses each to set filters... Yeah, no, I think it might mess things up a little bit because of the division and stuff. So, 
those two go together. And that's basically it. Let's take advantage of the substation we've already got here. And we don't need to do it on this side. Looks like our recycling system has been working. 1.6k, 1.6k. I just want to make sure all of these pipes are connected. Looks like they are. Fantastic. And it is going to take quite a while before there's enough there for a train load. Not so much with the stone and iron and copper. Alright, that's a nice little milestone. Let's give it a save. And now that that's out of the way, we've got our uh, rough data storage substrates getting made again. In the last five seconds, we're looking at four, point, uh, four and a bit thousand per minute. There was a, sort of a spike and now it's going down a bit. I wonder why. Because the it just ran out of iron, that's why. Well, this side ran out of... Wait, no it didn't. Okay, I think it is getting relatively low and... Yeah. But that's fine. Scrap is on its way again. following a roundabout kind of path. We could have the train go that way, but then we need to add a signal right here. Let it do some fancy maneuvers on the roundabout instead. Right, so now that that's done, um, now we well and truly do need Vita Melange, um, or, like, that, that should be the only thing. It might take a little while before we get a another launch here, but it should be in motion. And the only thing that we're not getting a consistent supply of here is Vita Melange. So, uh, that's every, that should be every type of science in motion except for biological. Although this one is looking... Uh-oh. Um... I didn't think this would actually happen, but we're full on 25 degree thermofluid. Uh, let's see what we can do about that. We need to pick up some more of those uh, thermal radiators as well. Okay, we're technically not completely full on thermofluid. Um, we have got these pumps disabled, so we're not pushing any more of this thermofluid into the system. That's suddenly looking a lot less full. What did we just build here? Oh, we're consuming it. Uh, okay, in the short term that definitely helps. In fact, that just got science in motion. Um... But, we somehow ended up with too much 25 degree thermofluid, really. 
Nothing can do than store up and stop production. Yeah, I've been doing that. So the production of 25 degree thermofluid in the first place. Um, we've got these pumps here preventing it from adding it to the main storage. If uh, if it goes above 12,000. Apparently I, I didn't set it low enough. I got 1 million stored up. The simple solution that we could do right now is just uh, add some storage. For the thermo fluid. It remains to be seen if that's effective long term. All machines store a lot internal, so if they all output, yeah. Advanced negative 10 process is a trap? Uh-oh. Do you mean the efficient one? Well, we'll have to have another look at that later. Also, it looks like we were carrying the thermal radiators, so I don't have to think about that again. Anyway, that'll at least get quite a lot of science uh, in motion. I think it's mostly just thermal radiating speed. Nine times fast cooling thermo fluid to negative 10. That's really inefficient, but way faster. Not terribly interested in that, especially after I made the capacity um, to keep up with the slow, efficient version. I guess we can do more rocket cargo safety and survivability, reusability. Might take a little while, but that's fine. Laser shooting speed, sure. Okay. Uh, I think what I would like to do next is go get that Vitamelange supply. Um... It's going to be kind of a big undertaking, but that's okay. Was there anything else that I... I've run out of storage here again, haven't I? That's for any more. Okay. I feel like there was something that I meant to build and then I saw the scrap problem. No, I, it was Vitamelange. Because I remember looking at... I only discovered the scrap problem because I was looking at the orbital main bus base. Um, meanwhile, our rough data storage substrates are filling up the cargo rocket quite quickly. No need to worry there. There's a few science things, like basic science, that I need to do at some point. Um, but I think what I would really like to do first is... Actually, I want to check that one planet that we have to go interstellar for, the Beryl. 
Planet size is 4,177. Not many biters. Uh, no biter medias or anything. Frigid, ocean, humid, treeless, eccentric, and mountains. No, I should get Beryl after Vitamelange, because that's what we need for bioscience. So, which was our best candidate for Vitamelange? This will give us the most Vitamelange, but uh, it's the most work. Um, clearing out the biters, unless we've got an island of safety is going to be not a trivial task. The small Vitamelange planet, we could do both. Rose is going to be a lot easier to deal with, and we get more solar power. And the radius is not so small that we get like a trickle of Vitamelange. Yeah, we may as well do both, and we'll start with Rose. So, uh, let's figure out what we're taking with us. Obviously, I'm going to bring the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, the military spiders with me, one squad. We need to make some more construction spiders. Um, I kind of want to... Okay, I'm just going to copy manually everything except the logistic requests for these. And we'll copy that later, because I don't want the bots filling them up. Uh, we need a lot of batteries and a lot of personal roboports. And... Okay, six batteries, one RTG, the rest is roboports. Oh, what's the color? 225250. This goes here. Batteries go here. Rest is RoboPorts. And I would like to make 10 of these. I can make I can make another eight. It'll do. Missing equipment, personal roboport. Do we have the bots picking those up for me already? Only four at a time. Or was it ten? What is this? Eight. Okay. Uh... I'll just go pick some of this stuff up manually. We need RoboPorts. We need... We need RTGs. I think they're going to be the least of our worries, actually. We need a lot of batteries. And that's it. Oh, what does it take to get the... That is something we can research already, which I'm quite excited about. Weapons delivery cannon. And what does the ammo take? Heavy girders and some stuff that's pretty easy. Weapon delivery capsule requires Holmium cable. Uh, we've got all of this in the rail bus already. The only question is, how is our iridium throughput? It's at zero at the moment. I do see some waves. Okay, yeah, I think it's overall consistent for now. It just takes a while to get 
a train load of iridium core fragments. Missing two personal robo-ports. Um, about this. Alright, so that is all of our construction spiders ready. I should turn my requests on again. And that's it. What else are we taking to rows? And which which one of these should we use? That one's already got quite a lot of stuff. Are we going to run off solar? I think we will. Yeah, solar's at 80%. That should be fine. Okay, so in that case... Uh, let's turn this off for now. I'm going to need... One of these, one of these. Uh, let's go for nine core mining drills. I'm already carrying this stuff. Definitely enough cargo rocket sections to come back. Bunch of solar. Have I not turned this on yet? I haven't. Okay. I don't. I think I still haven't automated uh, the umbrella. Let's check. I have not. As much as it's not a whole lot of trouble to make it each time. Um, I think I would prefer for that to be in the robo network as well. Let's share this chest, shall we? Umbrella. We only need one in the network. Actually, what does it take? Processing unit battery, six different things. We can fit that. Processing unit, batteries, we're not going to be making these very often, so I'm not going to set the requests too high. Concrete, glass, copper, steel. Concrete, glass, copper, and steel. And then we'll include that in our requests. Do we have flat solar panels in the network? We should do. Yeah, we've actually got 9.3k. That's fantastic. Um, I almost think we might have to... Now that's interesting. Not that it's a problem yet, but how did we run out of... No, that makes complete sense. Although I'm surprised this ended up full with no capsule. I was going to set it so that we send these back to Nalvis, but... Oh, I see what happened here. 
I think. Actually, I don't know why. I think I set this up wrong. Or just assumed that the capsule would get put in here before the cargo rocket sections were done. Whatever the case, we've got the means up here to launch a rocket, but uh, the logistics are wrong. But I'm not terribly worried about that. Um, we'll just leave it as it is for now. I'm going to set up a much better system to make the, not just flat, but the uh, flat solar panel tier 2 in the not too distant future. We just have to add Holmium. Yeah, basically just have to add Holmium to make it twice as efficient. Although it is a little bit more expensive than just using two flat solar panels, um, but literally twice as space efficient. Already carrying the spiders. Uh, let's bring... Uh-oh. That's... <gasps> no, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, no. Uh, I, I really hope I'm wrong about this. The other squad of Spidertrons died. I may have been careless, or I may have... Well, in one way or another I was careless. I don't even know where they died. Um, did they run... Did they not have rockets, or did I send them at something that was too strong? Or both? I genuinely have no idea. It was all in the last hour, starting 50 minutes ago, and then... So they didn't die all at once. What the hell happened? I definitely passed them to come back for resupply. Reload? I think the last save is a bit too far back. Where even is it? Playtime 389 hours. Versus 16. Days 8 hours. Wait, what? 16 days, 6 hours. Blueprint work done and reload. Maybe they got stuck at the water? Yeah, I don't know. That's really kind of shocking. Ah, uh, what are we missing here? Heavy girders. We should have a million heavy girders right here. Okay. Let's go get some heavy girders. Uh, Iridium is completely full on the plus side. That's actually why we've stopped making it. That's really, really good actually. The ingots are not completely full, but everything else is. They die with HO? What do you mean by that? Oh, with honor. 
Uh, I'm not sure about that one. That's our green squad. Oh dear. Well. I wouldn't exactly say it's bound to happen if you do stuff like this without supervising them, as long as you don't make them bite off more than they can chew. I would feel really, really silly if it turned out that I never set them to have requests for rockets. I just messed that up, didn't I? Can they get across this? Possibly. Well, either they will or they won't. I'll check on them in a couple of minutes. Let's grab some girders. And head back to the main base. And think about what else we're taking with us. Are we empty? We're empty. Switch this on. Wow. That was fast. What sciences are you at? Um, we need to get a steady supply of Vitamelange, but other than that, we've actually got a good throughput now of all of the tier one space sciences. So we're polishing off everything that doesn't require bioscience. And we're on our way to set up uh, the Vitamelange. Well, on our way is a little bit of an exaggeration. Well, it's not going to take... I was going to say it's not going to take that long to replace them, but... In all honest, in all honestly, I'm misspeaking a lot today. Oh, missing personal RoboCorp. Okay, that's our construction squad. And copy this. What are we missing? Portable RTG. That's going to be... Because there's no LDS on this belt, isn't it? Oh. Wait, what? It's because... Playing robot frames are not getting made? We're doing that in the uh, rail network, so if we struggle... We're also doing big electric motors in the rail network. Yeah, we could probably maybe think... Of, why do we have no lubricant? We've got crude, and we are processing it, and a lot of this is... We've got a million petroleum. Wait a sec. Yep, there's the culprit. We accidentally connected the power so that uh, tracking light to petroleum was happening all the time. And that's why we're not getting any lubricant, because there's no room to output the petroleum like this. Indeed. Can't wait for you to get to spaceships. I'm totally hyped. Nice. Yeah, uh, this is one reason. I mean, despite the fact that. Okay, what is it? 7 kilowatts times 17. 
119 kilowatts at the scale at this scale of base that's not really too much to worry about um although with the spacing it would be hard to use pumps to do this but that's one reason i do kind of favor using pumps to control cracking at this point i guess you could control the water supply to limit the cracking. So you could have a pump here. That'd be pretty easy to fit. Um, okay, so I think we're gonna bring some LDS uh, into, into the base from the rail network again. Controlled by water pump sounds ideal. Yeah. You could even do both if you want the power saving feature, but you want to be sure that that, what we just saw, doesn't happen. What are we doing with this iron? Oh, we've got storage over there as well. We've still got a million um, used up uranium fuel cells. I th think this is a little bit too slow. It uses one every 20 seconds. Um, okay, surprisingly in the last hour we haven't made any. Fuel cell. Nope, that's not right. 13.6 per minute. And this takes 20 seconds to consume one. We actually need, like, a few of these. Preferably beaconed. Whoops. Two, three, four... Uh, don't forget to add a beacon. You probably fit that a bit better, but it's fine. It's kind of a lazy copy and paste. However, I could shove this down here. That'll hopefully keep up so we can finally consume these. There's room for the pump. I don't like segregating power networks because it's so easy to compromise. Yeah, we just got an illustration of that. Absolutely. Right, so have we got... There's our LDS. And I don't know that it's going to end up oh we do have a request for it here okay cool uh it looks like it's already been added to the main bus cool and since we have no shortage of uranium fuel cells this time, we're not having trouble catching up with the portable RT genes. I definitely feel like I should add, I should allow accumulation of more of these, because sometimes I want to make a lot of spiders. In fact, usually when I bother to make spiders, I want to make a lot of them. Our green spiders did come back. Fantastic. Didn't get stuck in the water. Now, can I make some copies of them? Nice.
I feel like we overdid it. Uh, well, let's see. The last planet that we took military spiders to... This is threat 7%. So yeah, I don't think we're going to need that many of them this time. Oh. Um... Let's remove the request for rockets for now. Since we're going to be taking them with us. Also, I should start putting these back. Can we finally deconstruct this? It looks like we can. Wait, what? 1.3 million? Why does it think there's 1.3 million petroleum gas in this uh, network? Must be connected by a pump or something. But yeah, all of this fluid appears to be empty, so I think... We can finally remove this. And away go the construction bots. So we've sort of run out of our TGs, sort of. Wait, it requires eight just to make one spider? That's more than I thought. You would... Th hold on. You would think if that's the case, they would at least have a tiny bit of energy... Uh being produced if you didn't put an RTG in here. Apparently not. Weapons, delivery, cannon, finished. Fantastic. Um, might be worth a short diversion from our plans to get that thing operational. Oops. Also, we can probably stop asking for LDS for the moment. Let's see. We need aeroframe poles. I can't make those yet. I'm pretty sure. Aeroframe pole requires beryllium plate. That's the thing we need to go interstellar for. Alright then, maybe next time. Or the time after that. Since we've got two planets we need to go to. Apparently we have no solid rocket fuel. Um, let's just skip that for now. I think they just need that amount of power to get around, let alone power the grid. Surely if they're sitting still, there could be a surplus, though. I wonder why there's no solid rocket fuel in the network. Because it's all getting consumed by this. Okay, um, how about this? Solid rocket fuel has to be greater than 100. Cool. By the way, I have a question. I'm setting up a media defense system and want to figure out in what order the game fires the cannons. 
Can you show me a setup that is running for some time now and show the number of kills each cannon has? Sure. Uh, this one is rather all over the place, actually. Let's look at Orbit. Um, actually, I have a better idea. Let's look at, say, Mariel. So, very clearly, the order of the cannons. I mean, the, the order they're inserted in goes this way. I don't know if that's going to affect anything. Okay. Starting at the top left, we've got nothing. Disabled by script. Okay. Oh, here we go. There's the kills. 5, 2, 29, 10, 4, 17, 4, 129, 83, and 63. So, I have no clue, actually. Oh, that seemed like a hint. I wonder why this one has 29 if they go left to right, south to north. It was pretty good timing, though. In fact, that was ridiculously good timing. Uh, okay. Let's continue uh, making some more spiders and setting up our requests for what we're going to take with us. Whoops. fine. Cool. Wait a sec. Why are they missing second RTG? And now I'm missing one here as well. Let's take this back. That'll do. it takes so long to pick them up. I think ten will be enough. If you manage them carefully, ten spiders, even with just lasers, can do pretty much anything. Placement order? I have sixteen cannons and sooner I built them, more kills they have. Without looking at the code, I would imagine they just added to an array and from there, just iterator over the array. No more rocks falling towards the ground. Made a system that charges them one by one, but that works best if the last one shoots first. Yeah, definitely. That's a good idea as well. Um, okay. Are we loaded? We are loaded. Do we need to take anything else? We've got a bit of a checklist here. We should take some fuel. Now that we've arranged it so that there's at least a little bit in storage. How much is on the way, I wonder? Uh, rocket things. Oh, we should definitely do some signals. Core mining drill. Already carrying these three. I think. Yep. How many solar panels did we end up making here for example uh, 
This is almost 2,000. So yeah, that should be plenty. Going to be a lot less bottlenecked on, like, bot energy, placing all of these spider-trons. Uh, still got a hundred solid rocket fuel to go, but I thought I saw the inserters do something just now. Oh, they were... Huh? How did that happen? Oh, we just finished loading these, that's why. A Zavoxifal, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Also, I don't know if I said earlier, Sigma Bean, good to see you again. There was some stuff happening when you showed up. Okay. Doing good, you? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, apparently I got some spiders killed though, so I'm a bit sad about that. Migoth? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Lots of green names today. Okay. Um, it's just the solid rocket fuel that we're still waiting on. Which is really not that important. It's more for my personal use. Because it'll never be enough to send the rocket back. Um, but is there anything else I want to make sure I take to Rose? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, did I request... I didn't request the media defense installations. Running a random color script due to black theme. So only me and Veldak is great in my chat. Did you mean gray or... That's a lot of spiders. It's a start. Guitars. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, should I go get some more solid rocket fuel so we can skip this part? Or should I do something productive while we wait as well, perhaps? I don't see any stuck trains at the furnaces. So it seems like the latest patch was hopefully final patch. I could set up... Where's the ammo for this stuff? Weapon delivery cannon... Uh, weapon delivery capsule. Explosives, heat shielding, LDS, holmium, cable, and iridium plate. We can already manufacture these, so it's literally just... Hold on, 200 aeroframe poles. And you get given some beryllium plate. There's a thousand beryllium plate in orbit. And the beryllium plate... One makes two, and that's without productivity modules. And presumably we can use productivity modules. So we can make 2,000 poles. Um, I think we don't need to go to another planet to get these. We could make 10 weapon delivery cannons at least. Probably only need one or two. I really want to go to this next planet, but it would probably be wise um, to set up an interplanetary projectile system. Posted to Discord screenshot of my 16 media defenses and 
their kill numbers. Max 1300, minimum zero. Seems 14 turrets fired in one wave once. That's actually slightly scary considering I'm running 10 or 12 media defense installations on each planet. But I can always go and fix something on the off chance that something gets through and hits a target. So let's see. Six input stations for this. We can split that between. Th uh, we can split that between two train stops. Um, so that's pretty easy. And for this, I just need to run around and pick some stuff up. Uh, really, it's just the aeroframe poles. I have to go to orbit to pick up the beryllium plate. I think we'll do that after the. Uh, after we go to this planet. But I am excited about being able to do that already. Alright, are we done loading? No, I was coming to pick up rocket fuel. Uh, here it is. Let's just... This is completely full. Fantastic. Let's throw all of that into the logistic network. With eight cannons, you are 95% safe. And in the other 5%, the chance of it not hitting anything critical is huge. But is that like one time out of 20 something gets through? Because on a long timeline, that's actually pretty bad. I do like where this base is going. We are getting there. Oh, and I should have added this here. Scrap. There we go. What seem to be taking this sweet time coming to pick up my trash, probably because of all these spiders carrying trash. Oh, that is a lot of bot activity right now. Alright, that'll do. I never thought of it this way before, but this gives me a giant purple chest as well. Alright. Come to think of it, um, maybe the way I should have set up uh, this sort of thing is just have a blacklist of red circuit on this filter inserter. That way, anything could go in here and the bots would take care of it. Why do we have so much bot activity right now? Oh my god. Probably because we have more storage and the spiders were full earlier. Really need to do something about all of this stuff that's accumulating. We've even got lots of Vulcanite, but I guess it's not enough to... Uh, instead of having requests for Vulcanite here, why don't we put it in here? Thinking about using landing pad as a chest, it has bad slots to area ratios, but it can act as a giant balancer. Yeah, absolutely. Alright, so let's put all of the vulcanite in here, please. There's 23,000 in the logistic network. How has that not been... 
Oh. There's actually... No, there's not quite enough here for a train pickup. So this should definitely make some room. I did actually just make even more bot jobs, but still. It's not helping our UPS either. Okay. I should probably move the construction spiders up near the storage. That would help a lot, I think. Landing pad as chest will affect UPS? Uh, in what way? Like, positively? Because it's simplifying things? Okay. Which one's which? This one? Are we still looking for media defense installations? The bots are really slow right now. Alright, I'll go pick that up manually. And if I can't think of anything else we should be taking... then we might get ready to launch. Bad way, because they're constantly sending signal. You don't necessarily have to set it up that they're sending a signal all the time. Also, I'm pretty sure there's some optimization there whereby... The game only has to do something when the signal changes. Alright. Already carrying those. Let's... Get this one as well. And back to base. Is there anything that I need to make sure I take with me that I don't know? More bots. That's something I definitely wanted to add previously. Uh, construction bot. Make it. Especially since we're taking um, a lot of Spider-Trons. I actually prefer to have a hundred each, which is another thousand. But there's no way we have a thousand bots in the logistic network. We've got negative three. Fantastic. I think it's about time we took advantage of the rail network to help with making bots. We do have uh, flying robot frames mass produced. Oh, and I forgot, we actually have robots directly in the rail system. That's cool. So that is small trains only, provide threshold is one, uh, why don't we just add, why don't we use the spot that we freed up earlier, actually? Uh, so, we're going to do a standard drop off. I'm going to request... I guess we're going to need a RoboPort here, so we can get some information out of it. Uh, we're going to tell LTN what we've got in terms of total bots. 
logistic and construction. And what's our goal? Oh, the construction bots are actually... Yeah, no, I don't want to set it up like that. Um, I want the number that are actually in the logistic network. So... Read logistic network contents. Is it okay to send every signal that way? Yeah, I think it's probably fine. Um, and we'll say logistic. Let's make sure there's... How much can we fit in one cargo wagon? 50 times 40. 2,000. Okay, cool. We're going to go for 1,000 of each. And I'll just double check before I turn this on. I'm pretty sure I set it up so that... Wait, it should be how much we can fit in one chest. Well, okay, considering... Considering that the cargo wagon is 40 stacks, that should be fine. Here it is. So I think we should um, make sure we've got a thousand of each type available in the logistic network as opposed to as part of the bot network. So I think if we do that, posted my media calculations on the Discord. Let's have a quick look while this train is getting ready. Oh, I like the layout. 0.02% that it gets past 12. 0.1% that it gets past 10. I can live with 0.1. Especially because you don't want to have too much that you have to power on each planet. And Veldax kill count for the for the media defenses is looking pretty random. Do you think that was in the order they were built, or is it arbitrary? I built them at set of four right from left by bots. Ah, okay. That, yeah, 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 that's, that's pretty telling. It's not absolute, but why do we not have a train here yet? Also, I should turn this off and change the name. Uh, bot and bot requester. There we go. Oh, request stack threshold 160, that's why. Um, I th think... I think we'll literally just ask for it when we only need a few stacks. Well, let's say half a cargo wagon. Um, that's a thousand. Yeah. Yeah, that should be fine. Uh, request stack threshold. You know what, I'll just make it ten. It's going to be 10 for each um, type of robot. Hello, hello. How many hour have you had on this game world? Quite a few. Uh, 16 and a half. Well, 16 days, 6 hours and change. Uh, honey Yaking. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is this a hard game to play? Uh, it depends. 
It doesn't have to be. I think the game introduces things. This is a mod that's considerably more com uh, complicated than um, the base game. But I think Factorio introduces things. Oh, that's the problem. This is also a mod that makes things a bit more complicated, but it's also powerful. Uh, I think Factorio does a pretty good job of introducing things one little thing at a time. Until eventually you step back and realize you've made something pretty complex. Ouch, thank you. Lots of work you've done here. Yeah, I suppose so. Uh, not all of that time has been spent particularly productively. But that's okay. Have I still missed... Oh, there it goes. And you are heading to Buck Pickup. Fantastic. Away you go. Great about Factorio is that you can always make it harder. It's open goal. You can set your own goals. Yeah, absolutely. And there's different kinds of difficulty. Um... It's up to you how threatening the biters are going to be, or if you even have them. It's up to you if you're going to do things in a way that's complicated or not, uh, to some extent. Let's see if our loading system works well. 900 of these and 1,000 of these. That's actually, that makes a lot of sense considering the number of bots I saw earlier. So I think I set this up as a precise loader. Yes. Stack size is working. Fantastic. And once we see this stop at exactly 900, we know it's probably working. That's for logistic bots. Then it's got another thousand to go for construction bots. Nine hundred and one. That's not what I wanted to see. Um, it'll be okay considering that I've only set the requests to be one thousand of each at a time. Actually, no, that would be completely full. How did we get 901? I wonder. Is I think this one's going to stop at exactly 1,000 because it's already on a multiple of 10 and the max stack size is 10, so even if we designed it wrong, it, it'll probably do that. Yeah, so how does this work? Uh, whoops. We've got... The negative of what's in the train. Um, where does this go? What we're asking for, minus what's in the train, and then we remove these signals that we don't want. Send that directly to the stack inserter, and also multiply it by 1 to set signal S for the stack size. That should work. If you showed the drive somewhere on the video, I'll find. Uh, what do you mean by that? Please send a list of the mods you have turned on now. Sure. Mods. I probably switched on a lot of mod at once and I have a mess in it. Okay. Oh, and minor detail, I forgot to put an inserter here. 
RimWorld player, but I'm looking to buy a new game. Fair enough. RimWorld's pretty complicated. Like, if, if you could learn RimWorld, you can learn this, I think. One of my side goals on one map was to make a huge arty train to deal with biters. 100, 200, 100... What? <laughs> You made a 400 distance train? 20,000 shots. Okay. That's a lot. Thank you. No worries. Alright. So, it shouldn't be long before we have... Uh, that's the wrong one. We've got our construction bots being loaded here. Fantastic. Uh, it may have been shoving some of them into the robot network, though. Let's see. Construction bot less than 100. Okay, then. Wait, what is it set to? Available construction bots. And we've got a lot available. Okay, so it's not going to be taking those. Uh, so... We got our thousand. And we just have some roboports on the way. I didn't request any logistic bots because I'm carrying 50 and that's the, that's the limit if you want to have none of them crash. Seems like our logistic bots have calmed down a little bit. Finally. Okay. Are we ready to go? Let's check the name. It's Rose. And there's only general vicinity available. We don't need much fuel. It's already fully fueled. Nice. I've got the spiders in my inventory. Got some rail that I absolutely don't need to take, but... Um, last time... I forgot to remove it from my requests. I'm not a big fan of that. We should probably take more pipe and belt and stuff. Just like this. How much space have we got left? Quite a lot. So let's sort that out. Uh, I don't think we need that many productivity modules, but it wouldn't be bad. Okay, I don't think we need more than 150. That should be fine. It's mesmerizing to watch such a long train unspool. It's also a good test of track throughput and recovery because it stops traffic for some time. <laughs> well, that reminds me, I am ex the the longer this goes on, the more I'm just extremely happy with um uh with this rail block layout. The only uh, change to it that I might make, that's weird, how did you think there was 16k core fragments available if there are not 16k core fragments available? Limit trains 1. Um... Should probably set the train length here as well. Max train length is six. So it's not that two trains were queued up. And what LTN knows we have is just what's in these chests. So I have no idea how this train ended up sitting here waiting for the rest of the core fragments. They'll, the core mines will switch back on when the accumulator charge goes back up again. 
uh, which will be in a few minutes. But yeah, that's kind of odd. Wait, is this... Oh, this is basically running like... Uh, like a vanilla train. Because it's on the old depot system that doesn't exist anymore. Okay then. Which means it's probably very slowly running out of fuel. Uh, let's get you to go to a depot. And away you go. But yeah, uh, if anything, what I might change about this rail block system in the future is to make it slightly bigger for each block. But not much. Not much at all. Anyway, uh, logistic requests should be finished. Yes, good. We're still waiting on all of that other stuff that I suddenly requested. Rip bot. Uh, should I go and pick it up? We need pipe, pipe, this thing. Uh, some pumps. Some yellow belt that I don't have on me. There we go. Red and blue. The bots will bring this stuff to me directly as a really high priority, I think. And then... It's just pipe. Fantastic. Why don't I go pick that up? Where are we making pipe? It's been such a long time. There we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It was a thousand, wasn't it? No, 500. And 500 undergrounds. next. That's it. Fantastic. I think we are just about ready. Well, if there's anything else we should be bringing and I forget it, we can always send another rocket. Good midday? Okay, indeed. Got my spiders. Got my more logistic requests. Got the name of the planet set up. Bef right before we go, let's start scanning it. And... Away we go. Good time zone to you too. Yes, indeed. Should I leave these requests for the next rocket, or...? Yeah, it's not too hard to change it.
And away we go. There's biters immediately. That's a little bit concerning. Ouch. I'm glad I brought the spiders. Not that I couldn't have handled this if I was in full combat kit, but I am not. Uh, turn off Roboport. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's drop the rest of the spiders. And... I'll get rid of the programming for the regular construction spider remote for now. Let's make this one the leader. I'm actually kind of glad I didn't bring 20 military spiders this time because there's just so many clicks to set this up. Okay. Um, they need some robots. And I need to see where the rest of the biters are. Seems there's a lot of them. Okay. Uh, could you follow this one, please? And I'll make you a different color. Bright green. Actually, that's the same as the other one. How about... Sure, that's fine. I don't like that color, I'll think about it after this. Alright, first things first. Could you please clear out that little biter base, or worm, or whatever it is? Uh, Roboports, let's get a few of them. Some storage. And some power. Turn my RoboPots on. That's sort of not helping. Get some storage. Throw some construction bots into this network. Oh. And I guess, um, as long as the solar panels can keep up. We should probably put all of the construction bots into that network first. Uh, I should get the logistic bots going too. That'll help. Imagine something like that landing on Earth tomorrow. Nice welcoming committee? Yeah, definitely. Speaking of... I think the biter bases that we find are all going to be rather small. Um, but I'm definitely glad I've got plenty of spiders. I'll deal with the scrap later. Can I not... There we go. We're super duper bottlenecked on power for the moment. Uh, I guess I'll turn my RoboPod on. Now that the logistic bots will take stuff away from me. 
What I really want them to do though is place the solar panels. Solar panels don't have a power pole? The ones on the right? Yeah. That should all be in range of the robot still. Whoops. And a little bit more of this, I think. Those are all covered under the substation. Increases some power. Yes, indeed. My inventory is uncomfortably full. Um, if I shove some construction bots in each of these spiders, they're going to help. Uh, actually, I need to copy this first. Can I not? Surely there's a way to do this across surfaces, right? Um, let's see. Fantastic. And then copy you. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. That will get the construction spiders in on the action. Um, it should have them receiving robots automatically. Fantastic. When you buy mistakes, send all your cooks on day journeys across the rim ups? Uh, maybe? I don't know if I understand. That is getting done a lot faster all of a sudden. Really glad I brought the spiders for this. Speaking of which... It seems they're managing these small bases quite well, just walking straight into them. Uh, I could probably stand to set the lead spider as being nothing but shields, maybe. But... I don't think we're going to have a problem on this planet. Oh, hello. We do have quite a lot more biter bases to clear out than on the other planet, though. And it looks like we're not going to be so lucky as to be on an island. So we're either going to have to set up permanent defenses or clear out the entire planet. It is a relatively small planet, uh, less than 4,000 radius. But not super easy to deal with. At least the spiders will never need to resupply unless they take damage. So, did we... I think we already... Uh, picked up all of the stuff here. Nice. It's a new feeling to me having to do this sort of stuff under even the slightest pressure uh, from the biters. But what can you do? We don't, we're not going to run this one on nuclear power, so we don't have to go anywhere in particular to build our base. 
So let's go with this design. That actually fits nice and snug right here. Should be pretty easy to get done. And then we just start spamming power. Actually, if I move all that up ever so slightly, then we can fit it nicely in the middle of all of this. I don't know if I brought enough cliff explosives. Um, yeah, I would have been carrying one stack. This could be a problem. I've still got 11. Okay, I need one recycling facility. Uh, I don't know why the signal receiver hasn't been placed yet. Seems like this is more storage than I brought with me. Uh, let's remove some of it, shall we? Storage chest. Uh, and we could probably use a rope port down here somewhere. Is that going to reach? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, we can fit this here now. That's actually even better. Spiders, do your thing. I'm actually a little concerned about just how many biter bases there are, considering the size of this planet. How big is the rock you landed on? Radius is just under 4,000. It's right sweet smack in the middle of big and not big, really. If we're going to have to think about clearing out the biters directly. They actually have medium biters. So fighting them directly is going to be no problem at all. Um, it's really just a matter of so many small bases everywhere. And uh, having to deal with biter expansion. Also, the bases are already getting bigger. All right, what else do we have going on here? Uh, still a lot of solar... I didn't... I don't think I set these guys up to request flat solar panels. Yeah, so let's go for a couple of stacks of those.
If you want to know where exactly the edge is, type into game console radius. It'll it'll give you a ping for the edge. Oh, nice. Defense building should be a must-have here, I think. Yeah, I would rather uh, remove the threat entirely rather than have to maintain defenses. Because that adds other things that I have to send here via the logistic chains. Stuff that I can't send via cannon. Oh, there's another biter base here. And here. And here. And here. At this rate, uh, we're actually going to end up having to make more repair packs. Let's get these guys to place some solar panels. It's part of rich text formatting. You can also do armor equals player name to show player armor, player's armor in the game chat. Uh, do I have to add anything else to it? Oh, I think I missed the square brackets. Uh, well, that was something. Replace player name with your player name. Oh, I see, right. Nice, and there's my roboports that I forgot to replace. Okay. Construction spiders, pick up a few more solar panels, and expand over this way, please. We can afford those cliff explosives. Oh, they've got more range than I realized. Nice. Let's make sure our spiders don't take too much damage. I think the movement pattern I've been doing is better for rockets and not so much with lasers. With lasers, it's better to get right in there. Especially as long as the base is this small. The only thing is you might want to dodge the first shot of worms. Yeah, but uh, they're strong enough that they can do all of that AFK, I think. We could also bait the biters a bit and then head straight in. I'll bring them back for repairs after that one. Okay, what is going on with us, with our robots here? What? Uh, are you guys okay? Is this full? No. I don't think any of their trunks are full. Does one of them have a million bots assigned to it? Why are they like this? Oh, is it just the robo ports of 
the robopods have been overtaxed. Maybe I shouldn't have tried giving all of these construction spiders a hundred butts each. They are out of energy, yeah. I hope we brought enough accumulators. Um, don't take them, please. Makes a lot of sense to do this uh, square layout as well if after we trim the map we want it to be as small as possible. Look at them go. I should set this thing to... Let me just double check the naming convention I've been using. Planet name DC chest. What's the name of the planet again? Rose. Normally it's, uh... On the... Oh, there it is. We missed the middle by a lot. When we landed. So this is Rose DC chest. And this one needs to be set to um Nervous DC rail receiver number one. I assume we do still have some room left to use here. Yeah, I think it's we've got two stations left that we can use. Uh so Novus DC rail receiver number one. Receive that. And then... I may have slightly left out the detail where... Uh, where we have the delivery cannons. Uh, I wanted unknown key dead what? Oh, it's a tree. And I couldn't see it because of uh, uh, because of the x-ray vision mod. All right, so this is gonna be vitamelange core fragment. And this has to be core fragment vitamelange greater than zero. If I'm going to place uh, nine core mining drills, I'm going to have to seriously change the layout of this, but that's not going to be difficult. What, what did I just place? I think it was just accumulators. Okay, cool. For now, we'll just set it up nice and simple, like... Uh, accumulator charge has to be greater than 99%. In order for the core, mine, core mining drill to do its thing. How much are we going to get out of just one of these, anyway? 11 per second is not bad. Okay. I don't want to 
want to stop the flashing here. Hey, our victorious spiders are back. Nice. Uh, the prospect of clearing out the biters on this planet is looking more and more daunting. I didn't bring any rockets for them either, but they wouldn't go far, like in the long in the long run. That is. Maybe I should have just not continued scanning and removed the biters that we could see, and the rest wouldn't expand? Question mark. It sh probably shouldn't work like that. I need to start thinking about what it would take to have defenses here instead of trying to clear out the entire planet. We need repair packs to be delivered consistently. That's All of that stuff can get delivered by cannon. In fact, if we just add stone to this delivery cannon chest... That doesn't really work that well. At least, not with this layout. We could change it a little, a little bit. This could be repair packs. More importantly, we'd need to receive things like walls and laser turrets. Probably flamethrower turrets. Um, it's going to be a problem. If you can make the pile drivers, those will take care of the biter problem. Yeah, maybe I should have done that first, huh? I might just end up going back to Nalvis. Uh, I'll go to Nalvis Orbit from here. And I might end up having to... To go back there. Get the pile drivers going and start clearing the biters out that way. Um, substation goes here. Also, hey, Mess. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do we have no bots in this system? We don't. That would explain it. Attack of the 50 foot bot snake. We're going to run out of substations, I think. I mean, not substations, cliff explosives. Which means we're going to have to tap oil and set up a production chain to get that sorted out. That's one mistake I keep making consistently coming to another planet. Empty barrel, explosives, and grenade. Grenade is coal and iron. Explosives is coal and fluid. Obviously, we can tap the resources that we've already got here. There's an automatic firing option that targets biters. Wow. That's future research. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I hope it's not too late game. Oh, is there just a chance that we're actually on an island? I doubt it. He has it now, or the automatic option is further down. I only just unlocked the pile driver. And 
there's nothing further down the same tree, so I don't, I haven't seen anything that suggests that we can do that. Search for beam in the tech tree. Energy beaming. Good grief. So you get the ion cannon. Why has... Why has this not been built? That is alarming. What's what's going on here? I definitely requested it. It was definitely in here. Uh, maybe one of the spiders has it. They shouldn't, but they might. I'm not seeing it. Anywhere. It's not possible that we just lost the cargo rocket silo in transit, is it? At least we've got the landing pad, which means we can resupply pretty easily. The weapon delivery cannon has an automatic pile driver option. Interesting. Or maybe it just comes with it in the first place? Alright, um... I guess I'm gonna have to... Oh, oh, oh no no no, 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 no! You've gotta be kidding me! Oh my god. Shields. How did they get stuck like that? Lasers. How many did we lose? Spider... 58? Oh, this is built. Okay. We lost two spiders. Bloody hell. That's not what I wanted to see at all. Why were they just sitting there? Maybe that was after they walked through another base? No? Okay. Let's bring him back for repair, I guess. Definitely shouldn't have lost any spiders by now. Because the leader died. I had I had control over the leader. Like, we just saw the leader die. Um, for some reason, they were just sitting there in front of the base. And, like, every time I've done anything with them, I've set them to move through the base. I don't think you provided more than one move order. Better give the leader heavier armor, maybe. Ah. Uh. That's disappointing. Hello, Spellmore. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Many spooters. Yeah, unfortunately, slightly fewer spooters than we had a moment ago. And here I was thinking I was glad I only brought 10. Um, I would definitely prefer to have 20. I mean, I could convert some of them. 
Uh, this uses three shield. How many? Okay, so we need one. I could make six of the construction spiders military spiders. That would probably help. That's needing cliff explosives. I've got seven left. Bring 30? Yeah. Okay. Cliff explosives go boom. Um, I guess if we're going to need to send a uh, cargo rocket silo regardless, we may as well send some more cliff explosives and maybe even some spiders. Although I can't get the bots to put the things into the spy. Oh, wow. Uh, we have a chest full of spiders back at base. That definitely takes the sting out of that loss a little bit. More than a little bit. Um, I definitely should have changed the requests for this one. Maybe I could use this one. That's no less trouble. Okay. Let's turn this off and this as well. Um, we're going to ask for 20 spiders, 60 shields, 60 lasers. Uh, I think it's four batteries each, two batteries each. Oops. So, 40 batteries. And... 20 portable RTGs. Oops. Don't forget the cliff explosives. Let's go like 400, that should be enough. And then we need a cargo rocket silo still. Anything else we should be requesting? Ran out of meter ammo on former Bida planet. Oh, on like a Bida media planet. There were some red dots when I looked accidentally. 50 is the magic number. I solved this by going to moon with diameter of 960. You don't get much uh, core fragments out of uh, a moon so small. Besides which, this is actually the smallest planet that we've got available that gives us uh, Vitamelange core fragments. So we're doing this one first. Okay. Um, what's the name of this? Rose Landing Pad. Uh, anything else that we should have sent here while we're requesting things? Don't particularly think so. I guess it couldn't hurt to bring some walls and lasers and stuff. Maybe we could even just build walls around the solar panels when we finish placing them. And, uh, how many solar panels is this so far? 
uh, we're looking at 984, so less than double the radius of this. And we'll have placed all the solar. Oh, our electricity is fully charged. Let's just double check. Oh, that's why. Let's see if it can keep up with... We're charging all of the media defense at the same time, so it looks like we've got a decent amount of solar placed already. Obviously, we're not doing core mining yet. And we're pretty close to the edge as it is. Did I not have them request accumulators? Or did we not bring anywhere near enough accumulators? For the ratio. I've got 53. They are requesting accumulators. So we have none left. Somehow. Uh, might be a good idea to keep the accumulators that we've got there loaded already. We requested... 5,000. So... Don't tell me we've already placed 5,000 accumulators. Uh, yeah, we did. This would be 6,000, actually. And how many flat solar panels do we have left? 537 plus, like, 40 times... We've got like a thousand left. So we need like another 6,000 on top of what we need to fill this part out. That's weird. This is only 2 to 5. That's nowhere near a good enough ratio. Okay. We need 12,000 in total, so... Um, another 7,000-ish. Make it 8,000, just to be sure. We can always bring some back. Uh, meanwhile, I guess I should have the spiders that we have left rolling over the... Easy biter bases, at least. Because we do not want them expanding. Should definitely have them repair after that. Oh, and I forgot to make some of these military spiders. Oh, um, we're going to send a bunch of spiders. I don't really want to go to the trouble of changing the construction spiders, and I don't want to have fewer of them either. Looks like they expand faster than you kill them. Uh, that's not accurate. At least not at this range. The center of the planet is actually here. We landed quite a distance from it. And the smallest bases are always found at the middle. And as you get further from the origin point... Uh, same as vanilla behavior, they get bigger as you go further out. I've lost all hope of being on any kind of island. I wonder how big the pollution cloud is going to be when we're just core mining. Um, 
I really don't particularly want to have to build defenses. But... If it's lasers, it's going to use a lot of power. We do have heavy... Uh, we do have oil here that we can use for flamethrower fuel. Maybe I should add military things to the list of stuff that we're requesting here. That was the last of it. How many lasers do we have, even? The thing is, I'll also have to have a big robo-network so we can repair the walls and stuff. Everything that's part of the wall we need to be able to have replaced automatically. And you can't send anything but basic things via cannon. Sending a bunch of different stuff via rocket is very difficult to automate without having uh, a different cargo landing pad for each resource. The pollution cloud is minor, the biters won't go attack you, but the biter nest will expand to you. Yeah, which has the same result, definitely. Also, there's a little base that I don't think we had on the map earlier. Just barely got through that without taking damage. With no intervention from me. They can do, they can, they can beat a lot if they're micromanaged, but I don't particularly want to follow them for, uh, you know, 600 years while we clear out all the biters. I could go pay a visit to a lot of these bases personally, I've got... 200 rounds of railgun. Um, that could clear out quite a lot. When the worm spawns, it will outrange your turret. Yeah, that's a problem. Unless you set up a logistics chain with artillery. I really don't particularly want to have to set up a logistics chain to do military stuff on another planet consistently. It's enough of a pain on the same planet. Well, I wouldn't exactly call it a pain, it's a little bit complicated. But with cargo rockets at least, when your tools are cargo rockets and uh, delivery cannons, what does it take to make a... Yeah, see, we can't send batteries or small electric motors or electronic circuits. Only glass and steel directly to make the stuff that we need to make laser turrets, for example. Um, but the more I think about it, the more I think it's going to be use cannons to send basic stuff and set up a production chain. I deal with it with artillery? What does it take to make shells? The thing is, if we're using artillery shells, we are also um, going to have to have everything else to defend when the biters come attack. Radars, explosive cannon shells, explosives, steel, plastic. Steel and plastic can be sent by cannon, so it can explosives. Radars cannot, and they require circuits. 
um, and small electric motors. I think it's going to make a lot more sense to set up um, the pile driver, even if I have to do it remotely. Might be the way to go. I really wish I'd done it before I came here. I may even, if it makes it easier, I may even go back to Nalvis while I leave this stuff here to defend. Um, but I think I can pro no, I literally can't do it by remote control unless I arrange to have a rocket sent back to Nalvis with the beryllium plate. So I think the better way to go about it um, would be for me to... Oh. How did it take this long for the cargo rocket silo to get placed? Also, I really should put this ammo where it belongs. Um, let's start with this. Is there any more? I thought we requested a hundred. Yeah, some of the spiders have it, along with the umbrella. I'm surprised they... Actually, I'm not surprised they had that picked up. That's a bit too much, it seems like. No, we're fine. Um, since I don't have that much, I'm not going to wait. I'm, I'm not going to worry about putting a chest, we'll just do this. Alright, so our cannons have ammo for now. Um, I guess that means we don't need to send the cargo rocket silo. Just remove that from there. We've got all the accumulators. Um, I guess I'm going to have plenty of time to think about what we should be sending, because it is about time to finish up for today. Let's see who is streaming Factorio. Okay, JD plays... It's been a minute since we raided JD plays. Let's do it. Thanks for the stream. No works. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, JD plays. And Migoth as well. Thank you all for watching. Do take care. And I'll see you next time. I think I saved it, didn't I? Yep. Check out the... Why are all of the cannons firing right now? Seven out of eight meteors destroyed. That means... That means some biters just spawned somewhere. Right about here. Would that... That means we really need to have more than... Oh, there's only eight. Um... Okay. I don't know if we have some more with us. I thought we sent ten. Anyway, uh, let's commence raid, shall we? Thank you all for watching, do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of the Blueprints if you're interested. If you have any questions or anything, by all means, let me know. And do take care. Bye-bye. Stop moving, JD. Sure. Definitely stop moving. Like a ball. Tyrannosaurus Hacks! How you doing, mate? Thank you for the raid. How's everybody doing from your chat? What were you doing?